fuck it. You're always going to be head. like that. Everyone this I good? date to me. Everybody God loves Tana's it. head. I've I know. already researched They that. love my. Oh. <laughs> Damn, we're already in it. Dude, this these, is are, bad. these are the few like mere seconds before I have a scandal and I'm just taking it in. Do you have one you're anticipating? No, I'm just sure y'all will create one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're we will, we're gonna, the way we edit this, you're fucked. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Sounds like MTV. <laughs> All right. Should we roll the intro? We have a lot of shit to talk about because mm-hmm. we have the most scandalous fucking bitch. <laughs> Have I really like reigned that title? That is so hot, honestly. At least I'm good at something. All right, guys. It's it's Comedy Doll, baby! All right, guys. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm your host, Zane. And I am Heath. And we have our lovely co-hosts, Kenny and Mariah. And more importantly, <laughs> the guest that none of you asked for. <laughs> Not one person. Yeah, literally, Addison Ray couldn't make it. Dixie D'Amelio was free. David said no. Like Charlie real. has a thing with Dunkin' Donuts, no. and we were with Cremoda. Cremoda. It was like a weird yeah, thing. It doesn't seriously. work. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute last resort. <laughs> exactly. So, introducing uh, Tana Mon Goatman YouTube. Oh, my oh, you God. So- I to be honest, I thought when like people were saying Tana Mojo, I thought it was like a cool way to like say it. I didn't know that that was the actual way for a really long time. Oh, I thought it was Montague. Like to Tana Montague. To be honest Montague. with you, Zane has never, ever, ever even given me the time to think that he's going to pronounce my name like right yeah. now. He's I've like, oh my god, so Tana right. Mojo Jojo. What's up, <laughs> Tana Mojo? Like he's like, yo, fuck. Every time I see him, is it like he's never given one fuck. But you put me in my place. It kept me humble. There like you go. I could literally just win a stream me, and you're like, what up? Tana Mojo Jojo Matcha uh, Smoothie. As you should, <laughs> baby. God, I'm Mojo, but who really cares, honestly? The only thing I remember from you is you having to accept <laughs> shit. That's a terrible sentence. That's so bizarre. That's that's a terrible the only sentence. thing you're memorable for. <laughs> honestly, first of all, you could remember me for far, far worse things if that's you think true. about it in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, yeah I was like, true. I'll never get one of these. Guys, Tana almost didn't make it to this episode. She Shocking. didn't make it to the episode. <laughs> we pushed it today. <laughs> Oh, Tana, you know we extended it. We extended by four days just in case. We had the entire week to film. That is so fucked up. You know what's funny is I was in the car with my assistant. I swear to God, like, I can't be late. Like, they're going to make so much fun of me. Like, it's going to be so fucking embarrassing if I'm late. Like, I was so scared. Uh, To be honest, I I thought the excuse was, like, funny because Zane was like, she can't make it. Her veneers... (laughs) <laughs> Something that about and, it, and I was just like I was like all right, it's bullshit. We have a gift for you. I'm so fucking. It's like a muzzle. Ooh. <laughs> you want to start off with a gift? Yeah. There you go. All right, we have a little okay. gift for you. We have a gift gift for every fourth uh, guest that we have on the show. <laughs> we we just didn't have anything prepared for the last three. I'm like actually so scared. It's the David of it all. Y'all give me anxiety. Not to, oh, Sorry. you spelled my last name right. I spelled it right. I didn't even look. You didn't even do this. I didn't Let's even look. Don't even take credit. Sorry, I'm, the um the presentation isn't great. We no, didn't think the presentation's you would, beautiful. I mean, we didn't think you would show up, so and we, we were just gonna cr- ship it to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 it's got a UPS label on the side of it. Dude, I, I swear to God, I like I fully understand. I remember being 15 years old and like bailing on Jeffree Star. I probably wasn't 15. I'm just saying that so that it sounds way better. And what is this? I'm lost. Check it out. Pull it out. Show yeah, everything. So, it out. All Show those things have something in common. Pull okay, it out. It's the flakes for me. <laughs> so oh. I'm gonna start here because I feel like I'm flaky. That's good. Flaky. <laughs> <laughs> she got that quick. She's on to something. Oh, oh, not the, not the croissants. The croissants, though. Dandruff shampoo for flakes. <laughs> Are you surprised they showed up? Very yeah. surprised. Oh, yeah. So yeah. That, that package doesn't I'm even make sense because you actually did not flake tonight. Yeah. I'm allergic to gluten and I'm like coming off this. <laughs> 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 off this shit. <laughs> yeah, um, honestly. If you guys didn't have just maximum cloud, I totally would have bailed. <laughs> <laughs> like if you, if that the episode would have turned to you bashing me, I feel like if I didn't show up, that's yeah. happened to me before. <laughs> we would we, yeah, we, we know we know we wouldn't have bashed you, but we would definitely use it as an excuse why we don't have a guest and probably <laughs> possibly a thumbnail too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, one hundred percent. We would somehow crop you in that seat, like for the thumbnail, yeah. and, and, and just say no, I'm yeah. just sending in like iMac photos. Like, Sorry, we make it look like a Zoom call. No, yeah, I fully. I'm having like maximum veneer issues like pus all up in my shit what's actually going on with it 
Um, there's like eight things going on right now. Do you want to know what I actually literally currently need? Like, this is no joke. I yeah. need, I well, I need 10 new veneers, eight, <gasps> nine new veneers. I need a tooth here. I need an implant here. I need four root canals up this here. This all happened at Gum once? reconstructive surgery and wisdom teeth taken out. Oh my Wait, you gosh. still have your wisdom teeth? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. she didn't flake on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I re- it's not that. I just, I'm falling apart. Wait, I never cool. went to the dentist growing up and then I got veneers like, from the jump because I'm a fake bitch I just had to do it and so well, now I mean, what, did you apart. did you not like your teeth at all like what, what was the, what was the reason why you got it no I just I had a lot of dental issues anyways like at the time I got veneers I needed like eight root canals my parents just like never took me to the dentist growing up just so get I, rid yeah. of them so you don't have to get the root canal yeah, honestly just get, like, shave those bitches off and get some right. new Hollywood ten, I've gotten ones. like yeah. 10 root honestly. canals in my life it's the fucking worst dude but dude. I still I still don't have veneers dude <laughs> I've, yeah. I've made it. well you have great through. you made it out the trenches I did not <laughs> yeah, now I have to get new ones babe oh, the, t- the title of this video is Tana Mojo has venereal disease <laughs> Tana Mojo's mouth <laughs> Is made Thank out of a toilet you. seat. <laughs> so you almost didn't make it because it got like infected. Like what exactly yeah, happened? Yeah, my face was like <laughs> swollen, giant, Sorry, huge. That's so good. <laughs> oh. Her bad. face looked. No, you you look like a balloon you, when I well, face on you. My face always swells. I'd be going through it all the time. Like something is just wrong and swollen. It's either the eye filler or the nose job or the veneer. Uh, uh, is, there whole, is there always actual problems when you whenever you get shit done? <laughs> There's always actual problems in general. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know Maybe. that. Um, but yeah, my body actually um, materializes numbing stuff in like Is that what minutes. they told you? Um, yeah, they made me all the cocaine over the years. I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Terrible joke. Um, but so I always feel the dental work. So I'm like screaming and bleeding and it's it's just Oh my it's gosh. It's fun. It's fun and fresh. It's you can't be like put out, like go to sleep for it? I can be, I, I don't guess. know. It makes me feel alive. I don't want to. <laughs> I was going to say, well, I like sc- it. screaming and bleeding honestly <laughs> sounds like the sex experience you were talking about on Call Her Daddy. Oh, honestly, yeah. One was just fun. I was into one of them. This one's not going to be fun or fresh but it, there's nothing like spicing up your week with some trauma so i mean that's what i'm really getting into this and week. some drama but zane and Ethan filtered before that so who should we expose do you <laughs> wait, wait you're talking about trauma do you I see that do you up. see the topic that i have on this dealing with trauma <laughs> it's, it's the fucking notes i don't even want to read that send that to like the next guy i date like here's all my issues that's can he come to like a resume the fucking topics uh-huh. that's for sure for real on. damn i feel like you know more about me than like my own friends should we get into like <laughs> Which uh, scam how we how she became t- like who why she's here like where she grew Hold up on, like how she but, started why are but, you here is this a, is that even important with Hannah is that like not even <laughs> <laughs> so should we talk about how she was like brought up or did she just like hatch is that even like important with her <laughs> so those test tube babies right <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking oh my god I'm not I, I didn't eat anything today so I think I'm drunk dude same <laughs> already Especially speaking of should we do those shots we set up oh my god we yeah. got shots set up yeah, yeah yeah let's do it let's do it yeah. it's gonna be a rowdy I'm one. So oh, please <laughs> no I'm ready I'm ready right, alcohol just makes me like worse tell me why Mariah missing the shot just made me think you all are drinking fake alcohol and you're just blacking me out oh, to no, expose no. me do I have trust <laughs> issues We're not drinking fake alcohol. <laughs> well, that's enough <laughs> Jason I'm like a this super big pussy this is for Avocado. Tana's bank account after OnlyFans. Oh Cheers. my god. Oh, yeah. guys. <laughs> what a sweet thing to say. <laughs> she, I'm just spilling sweet. vodka everywhere. Whoa! <laughs> oh god. Okay. That was just for camera. I've seen y'all take shots so many times. I know, I know. Alcoholics. Just a little, you know, we gotta amp it up. <laughs> amp it up for the, just for the viewers. I'm just gonna make them think it hurt a little. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like roofies. Okay, we I have we have a lot to talk about. Where should we get started? We do. Yeah, we Take a, a breath, Zane. You're good. Take a breath. <laughs> okay. Um, we were talking about the Call Her Daddy podcast, and I, I wanted to ask this because Zane had mentioned the other day that you flew out to New York to do this, but still ended up missing the podcast. I wish it went down that way because it's really funny. <laughs> I've never heard it like that. That's terrible. Oh, really? What happened? Um, that's not what happened. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Um, I was on tour and at this time I really just did not have a structured, it's boring. It's kind of a boring answer. A structured team around me. Like the people around me, right. I feel like when I look back now, we're just like, I'm already like drooling from the alcohol. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I also can't feel my mouth. That's, like, that's called salivating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really yeah. like the alcohol. No, if it's I'm like, like drooling, it's like part veneer issues, part alcohol. I'm sorry. In oh, okay. um, we're just rumbling that infection but, up. Yeah, seriously. We're, yeah, you should not take shots oh, on clindamycin. Are you on medication right <laughs> now? Oh my God, it's sterile. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We should have no, I mean about. taking a shot on antibiotics, but I was just drinking. Like, hey, but on it, the hit, it hit better. It does hit better. Does it? It counterattacks it, and you no, feel I'm better. I'm scared. I'm just gonna be black the fuck out. Okay, <laughs> but um, 
my team was just kind of like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off, planning way too much stuff for me, that type of thing. I was on tour and I was doing back to back shows in New York City, like that Saturday. So I was already there. I was already flying there like for right. the, those shows. And so I had a show Saturday night and a show Sunday and I was really sick. And I told my team it was like, tentative off if I could do it but I think at that time I had a lot of people around me that didn't really kind of care if I was sick or if I wanted to do anything so they were just kind of like yes 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 but then I was like a little fucking cunt uh -huh. and I, like I would just wake up and be like fuck you I'm not doing it I have a fucking <laughs> 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 like, like, I was just not I, I don't I, I remember being really sick and I was just on tour and I couldn't do it and I thought it was communicated well and then I woke up to just that amazing youtube video about how like they were planning for me to be their entire guest and like the way my my assistant bailed for me was so bad and then they ended up never having a guest because i scarred them so hard well, hold on what? were you their first guest i was supposed to be their first guest and because <laughs> oh i didn't God. show up i scarred them so hard they never had a guest on and alex cooper the first time i met her was like the only reason my podcast ever took off is because i didn't have guests i just want to thank you for bailing and i was like bitch that is oh backwards God. that was Wait, backwards what? as hell so no i didn't but that is some shit I've done. Fly to some place for some shit and miss it. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> oh, we're not too far. <laughs> Tana Mojo creates careers yeah. by flaking. No, at least, you, at least you don't. At least you don't miss flights like me. I'm bad. Wait, like, you should come out. I just missed a flight like two days ago back here for this podcast from Chicago. Actually, um, I missed two jets that Jake Paul we're made for a couple weeks ago in Vegas. We're getting flights that were missed. Um, huh. Wait, you missed four flights? I'm normally not this fucking bad, I swear to God. Oh it's, my, it's she's worse than me. She just told us like she got her life together. No, and that, that <laughs> she was like, I am, I am <laughs> doing me. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. I used to miss. I'm like, what are you crying? You're the type you to like go me. to the airport, like ready for your flight, be on time, fall asleep in the seat, and then miss I it. I missed flight from the airport. Funny story. <laughs> like from the gate. Like I've watched the plane take off. I just missed two jets that Jake like sent for me. That's how late I was to this jet. Imagine like you're like, <laughs> It's one thing to be late. To Imagine having right? somebody send you a jet. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then no, I, I missed this two lifestyle. He sent me Sorry, two right, jets. Right. That <laughs> I just... right. Not normal. I'm aware. I used to work for yeah, minimum wage. Yeah, she gets it. She knows. No. <laughs> you should come out with a dander shampoo. No. That'd be funny. Come out with a, what, a dander <laughs> a, shampoo. Yeah. I actually do have some like come out with flaky sometimes. products because I be. Ble <laughs> Tana by Tana, the flake collection. It's actually pretty good. That has a ring to it. Twenty percent. 30. That's a right Modest day. 85. <laughs> <laughs> Good oh. Watch out. We, just, we just bought this set, please. I'm so sorry. Yeah, for third. Oh my God. I wish you fucking fans knew how much. <laughs> <laughs> this room. This room costs more than anything I own. It was a lot. It was a lot. We, we, <laughs> this room every, costs more than my eyelashes and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we made throughout the year, we just put it into this room. Dude, yeah, this is a square it. one. Dude, no, it's incredible. It's incredible. Thank you. So what else? Cancel me. <laughs> she, I feel like you just came ready for whatever. Honestly, and I love that. I actually also just miss y'all. Like, I'm used to seeing you a lot, obviously. And now I don't. Yeah. So I'm just ready to black out and give you the tea. Y'all are cracking me like, up. Like, I've seen, I've, I've, I've honestly seen you, what, once or twice in this entire year. Yeah, which yeah. is ugly. As, well, happy for you, ugly for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Saddle Ranch. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> I was so drunk when I saw y'all at Saddle Ranch. I just remember putting you in my vlog, and you were like, you're not David. Like, go home. Oh, yeah? You're not <laughs> David. People, people were pissed, by the way. Should we talk about that? I tried to do David-style vlogs, fun fact. Still doing them sometimes. Like, just short, you know, yeah, like right. war and everyone. And you even said it, it, too, Logan that you're Paul, doing like, it. I, I'm not, I didn't pioneer that. I'm not trying You're just to. vlogging. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's a little bit of I check. It but no, but you said you said you were just doing be, that. Just because it's, yeah. it's it's a five minute vlog doesn't mean it's. I'm like the, I use the noise like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't no, see it. No, yeah, it I was like she used the song like, and everything. You know, the joke kind of was that I was like, you know, like copying the style like everyone else has. Okay. But the fans like after a while were pissed. Like there were definitely some David fans on Twitter that were like packing the fuck up. It's because guys. David hasn't up. posted in so long, so they got pissed <laughs> when they saw well, you. Imagine. Thought it was a David vlog. <laughs> But then realize it wasn't. She like, puts imagine... David face in the corner, just <laughs> dude, dude. I know I'm facetiming him. Like, please pick up so I can screenshot for the thumbnail. <laughs> for the thumbnail. No, imagine wanting a David Dobrik vlog for eight months and then it being Tana Mojo and yeah, like Jake Paul. Like, I'd be pissed too. Like, I do kind of get it. So back on the story times. But I did tried. you find it harder to like do the vlog style? Like, because it's so like not your element. I feel like you're very kind of like uncut, raw. This isn't a Pornhub title. I promise. Talk it's, like, your shit. Bite your lip, pop off with the okay. question. Let's talk for go. a second. Wow. I've always like really 
I've always liked editing my own stuff and then my editor, I kind of just like taught to edit like how I do, you know? Uh -huh. So I'll like do story times and just kind of cut out like the A, the terrible shit that's going to get me sued, B, right. like, you know, some demonetized things and like C, just like pauses and stuff. But really learning to edit like like David, I guess. I mean, that's the best way I would explain just it. Just quick cut, yeah. or, like but, to the point. But I think it's so bullshit. much more than that. Like you have to film it in a Comedic way. Comedic timing too. The, yeah. the timing is so um, perfect. And then yeah. it's like every single video I was writing out a note, like short bit, long bit, short bit, long bit. Oh, like, you yeah. wrote out your video? Oh, that's like, smart though. No, but I just mean, it's shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> realizing that it's like, David like ideated this whole structure that everyone yeah. just kind of like bootleg copies. Yeah. Yeah. And then still, even when you are copying it with a blueprint, I think it's so hard. Like yeah. I think still trying to actually be funny and it not just be like corny and ripped off. It's mm -hmm. it's a hard thing we, to We could put David in the fucking whole video <laughs> and we still could not yeah. like mimic his style. Like, so no, good. I always just, would wonder why Jason Nash's vlogs were just so long and he would leave everything <laughs> in. <laughs> I asked him one day and he was like, he was like, imagine trying to edit this shit like David and now I get it. I really do. Like I would have done the same shit if I was Jason Nash. Yeah. I, full I, upload, I, full footage <laughs> off the school it. with Charlie and Wyatt. <laughs> I remember when uh, Mariah edited one of your videos. <laughs> you did? Oh my God. She got it? You did? You yeah. edited me. No, what? <laughs> No, no, I've because I've sent footage like to to so many people like trying shit yeah. out, but that was in the phase where like everyone was up my ass being like, "You need an editor. You're not gonna work hard unless people are editing." I did shit. it once, <laughs> but and like, she actually saved there, the raw it. footage for us. We're gonna play it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I made a compilation of she all the parts that couldn't like keep file. it. Every yeah. single time I send away footage, that is my first thought. I'm like, "What scandal am I gonna have from this raw footage, baby? <laughs> Let's go." That's but, why you sent it to so many fucking people. Honestly, <laughs> like, I honestly need a trying to get Daily Mail, like just sending all my fucking. <laughs> that's funny no but um yeah she did do that I things i did Sorry. that <laughs> things i edited hers <laughs> you killed honestly honestly you. i was like a high ass dumb ass bitch then i couldn't even edit my own shit Thank you. so thanks you've talked I about i hope you how... become high again become <laughs> high. Like, I'm i hope high. you do the high again <laughs> you've got to talk about how like david has kind of set like the blueprint for a lot of like influencers though like i find oh, that yeah. interesting is that you kind of you you sort of like have multiple times like equated him to the blueprint of like an influencer like a modern day celebrity well i just thing. love david because i think that we obviously get to know so many people and a lot of them really suck and that's just like the truth like yeah. a lot of people who are in this space like get up to the top and they're just like you know they're not fun to be around or they're really fucking rude or they have super deep dark secrets that are fucking <laughs> disgusting yeah. and like david is a good person he deserves what he has and he's funny as fucking kills it so it's like it's something i'll always respect you know what i mean and it's like that whole style like i i just i've never seen something so before my eyes like someone paved such a different way of vlogging and it happened like over fucking night from like one to like vlog 420 yeah, like right. and for all these people to have like you know every single time i see corinda tweet like i'm gaming on facebook right now i'm sitting there thinking like this bitch is a fucking multi-millionaire <laughs> like like because like you know like like not because of david like don't get me wrong she's a star in her own right like yeah. now and everything but i just mean for someone to bring up that many people and do so much <sighs> I yeah. worship. It's no, cool. no, no, I, I agree with I you. Mean, I look just, around. Read the room. Like, no, Heath look and I, at the like, set, bitch. <laughs> dude, at 100%. 100%. When, we, when we released this coffee, like, Heath and I looked at it, we were like, fuck, dude, like, d like David helped us get here. Like, if it wasn't for David, like, yeah. making these vlogs and, like, making us a part of his, like, life and his story, like, this wouldn't happen but for us. But that's also so why, it's like, like, y'all are still here. Because you're grateful as fuck and you've always shown that. And you, yeah. all, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, it, it's just very obvious that you guys are, like, really good people and it's like it's dope it worked out for david too obviously having all of you yeah. guys like around but it's cool to see how long lasting it is and just like i don't know i stand i stand the most yeah so I think out of all influencers david and like all y'all are like the most humble the most real like people fucking suck y'all know yeah so mm -hmm. i really respect thank Blood you Spots tana forever Woo! All right, all right. I David's like sending me a cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm sitting here like I worship him so much. Like, he just has. fucking lawsuit <laughs> and desist. All the positives you, you said, he just out the door. Just one little thing you said, just fucking. He's like, leave me the fuck alone. But you're still trying to copy my fucking style. Oh my god! <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. But like, I mean, in a lot of senses, though, I feel like you're also like, you're me sucking tana's ass for an hour he's like you're like, bootleg as fuck no like you're you are sort of honestly like a pioneer in your own right i feel too 
I agree. This whole couch is chill as hell. <laughs> like, I real. like this Tell couch. Tell real. But real. Tell everyone that. For real. Like, I mean, like, I, like, I'm, I watched your last few podcasts that you've done, and, and I've done I research on you, and I, <laughs> I, like, literally can't handle it. There's like, something in my brain. Sorry. I'm okay. You've it's talked about how originally you kind of, when you first came to YouTube, you had this true like don't give a fuck mentality like i have nothing to lose i don't oh, give yeah. a fuck i don't care oh yeah nothing and that's to lose. what kind of like launched your appeal and then you've kind like, of <laughs> <laughs> hawking a loogie <laughs> and then like you you obviously have like leaned into that over the years but like shit got you know like got like messy and you kind of you know it was like a runaway train but now i think you <laughs> kind of going, babe. it's like a train wreck <laughs> train still going <laughs> But you've like adapted that mentality, I feel like, again, a second time almost again, like right now, Yo, like I, really not giving a fuck, truly. I really do fuck with you for that because that's kind of how I feel. I'm in like a rebirth moment. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you said, like in the beginning of my career, I truly had nothing to lose. Like I came from Vegas. I hated my family. I hated my life. I didn't know what I wanted to do. The only thing that I ever like idealized being dope or like as a job or like something that could be a future was like, you know, taking away other people's pain. I'm sure you guys can relate. Like the way yeah. it feels to make someone else laugh. I don't hate my family, but like everything else. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but like yeah fair fair you have a whole ass working family clouded everything like i'm jealous i don't have a single family member um <laughs> if anyone wants to adopt me like me um but um yeah and then i kind of got caught up in it all and obviously like i in the beginning when you have nothing to lose you start to eventually gain all of these things to lose and you're taught to like protect it all and become so filtered and like just so many of the things as you guys know this industry like fucking yeah. conditions you to be like and i definitely got caught up in it and i just i I remember catching myself and being like this is fake old tana would not approve of this what the fuck are you doing like it just it wasn't cute and i was just i wasn't able to be my full self because i hated a lot of this shit i was doing so i was getting super <laughs> fucked up off camera like i filming reality tv or at least that phase of that was not it for me so the mtv stuff do you yeah do you yeah. feel like in the beginning that was your true self then you kind of had to like dial it back but now you're like i think i just am over the top like just innately right. just as a person that, like, like i just have terrible luck like i'm obnoxious as fuck like i don't think any of that's fake <laughs> or anything like that it's just more so like i said i got to this point where i built all this stuff that i felt like i was gonna lose and all these people were making me feel like i had to be a certain way and then i just i hated that so i was just every second off camera was getting fucked up and stuff like that and then i kind of woke up and i was like i'm losing myself and the relatability of it all people fucking follow you to, for you to be relatable and hear about your life and whatever and so i kind of had to like go from the ground up and like cut off all the shit i felt like was fake and obviously there's still the weird moments where it's like jake is sending me two jets and i know my <laughs> life isn't the way it I was when I grew up with cockroaches and shit like that, right? You know, like yeah. it's different, but at the same time, like you snap back to reality. Like I you, am, you know, you understand. I understand like, it's, it's all not, weird as shit. Yeah, I feel like you like, evolve. We're in a bubble. Though, is are you are so exactly who you are on camera and off camera? Oh yeah, like a lot of people. Oh will, like, and that's what to, I like about you. Will like come to me. Not or Zane's or... first compliment to me, literally ever. Oh my god, did you see my face? <laughs> I'm gonna back. play. I'm gonna play it like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you like. <laughs> Zane, no, say, say your name. I was right. gonna sneak that in. I wanted him to finish what you were saying. <laughs> He's like, that's what I like about you. <laughs> right, right, right. Continue, I'm sorry. Um, no, but I was saying like I feel like a lot of people like will come up to me and just be like, you're a lot more quiet and chill than I thought you would be based on like what I've seen because fair like the so internet like is very over the like top like just being out of like a crazy it, and like in David's vlogs it's a highlight reel yeah 100%. but like you put everything out there so you are exactly who you are and I think that's really cool well, there's honestly a point in time where I feel like I, w I was like faking that. You know what I mean? Like MTV wanted that image of me and I was coming on being like, I'm so real. I don't give a fuck. I just fuck Tyga. Uh. But like none of it was real. Like it just was boring and like it was like a forced, you know what I mean? Like there, I've definitely been in a position where people wanted me to be this like real ass bitch and like fit this role. Mm -hmm. And it's right. like, I almost had to like yeah. get back to like, yeah. what are you doing? Like you started all this by just not giving a fuck. And that's why like things like this now, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Let's just do it. Like, but it, it took a second for sure. I yeah. guess to get there. I mean, I feel like when you like, it, it's weird because I see a lot of parallels being able to, obviously from my perspective, like looking at your career in like a snapshot, it's like you, it seemed like you kind of, went to YouTube to get away from the craziness of like whatever your life was at that point, like which was a, w a while back. It was like seven years ago you've been making yeah. YouTube videos. So it's like, but I feel like right now you're also at a point where you realize that the LA life 
also needs to be escaped from a little bit. 100%. And I, I kind of, that's so, am I like getting woke on this podcast? Is this like therapeutic <laughs> for me? That was like, I, that's so true though. Cause it's like, I almost thought that was something I could run to. Right. You know what I mean? From the toxicity of where I was from and my family. And then it was like, I got so engulfed in this. And obviously you guys realize some people aren't good and shit just, it, it's not always great. And then I kind of had to like almost come from the ground up. So like you were saying, it's not necessarily that like back then I was the realest that I'd ever been. I had a lot of flaws then, you know, what I mean like my parents never like instilled anything that parents instill in you like structure responsibility or schedule I dropped out of high school at 15 because I couldn't even like go to school on time like so many of the mistakes I feel like I made in the beginning of my career were from lack of so many things like I needed you know yeah so it's like now I'm finally like hiring life coaches and learning that and like getting hmm. therapy and fix so if anything there was no mixture, obedience growing up uh, no I was rebelling against my parents like my entire life for sure because we just I don't really ever remember getting along with my family. Maybe I was like at like it's like seven or eight we got along type. But like after that we definitely it was just like very chaotic, very rebellious, very like butting of heads. Is, I moved is that out because they're very rebellious in the same way you are? Or um, I don't know how to put it. I well I do. It's just it's it's just dark and I I get in trouble talking about it. It's very weird. My my family was just very like abusive and just not dope. <laughs> <laughs> not, not chill that's bad that's a bad sentence um but like you know they just the way they raised me wasn't it they just neglected mm -hmm. me in like a lot of ways i definitely didn't get like proper health care proper food proper schooling proper love proper nurturing proper schedule. but just it's anything. cool to see you like like to like, rise from that yeah and push through that be... well i wanted to help like kids who like you know what i mean like maybe they didn't have the best home yeah. life or like people weren't because that's like that's the reality of it all you know we're not always all raised by like perfect families and sometimes mm -hmm. we just have to you know pick shit up and raise ourselves and whatever the fuck and like i definitely had to do that like raise myself from 15 to 22 now so yeah if i can help people amazing. like amazing with anything it's like you can do it like don't kill yourself you know as dark as it is it's the truth i think that's yeah. where like a lot of your independence <laughs> comes from honestly because i think it obviously your situation is not ideal you know with your with your <laughs> no. with your parents and stuff like that <laughs> I, I i totally understand that so don't get me wrong but like in a way it almost I feel like helped you I gain your it. independence because your family from the get go was like, oh, we're not here to help you. So you never <laughs> thought that they were there to like lift you up or help you or nurture you or anything like that. So you're like, oh, I'm going to have to do this fully for myself. Yeah, you don't oh, have a 100%, choice. 100%. Yeah. 110%. There was never that like, you know, everything that a family like instills, there was yeah. never like that reliability today. Literally like my, there, someone was like I was paying my rent. Right. And it was like a couple hours late and I was freaking out to my life coach. He was like the reason that you have this worry and stress is because you never had like a home that was like reliable. Like, and it's always going to affect you in the, in those ways. You know what I mean? Like you're always going to have to kind of pick up for things like that, but I've always just been real about it. And like, again, everything I feel like I am is cause I was making up for what they like weren't, you know what I mean? Like they, they were so shitty and they were abusive and they were, you know, they treated me bad. And I was like, I don't want to be that. I want to treat people well. I want to like, Damn. So, so you do do that. Yeah. I can't even imagine like like having a, a setback person. like that. I, I like knowing that I have my parents there and my family <laughs> there to always like call or yeah. like literally for anything, be able to reach out and just like get their opinion, just talk to them about anything. That's I, that's a lot to have. That's a lot to like. I think it's like there's something that everyone should be so grateful for because yeah, it's like when you I don't agree. have that, it's like it, you really you feel it 100 percent like holidays, all that shit. I definitely always because I like to be real, my family is like definitely very dead to me. Like so, like I'll never, I'll probably never talk to them again. Like it's just more not cool. That's how it is. So Amari, my best friend, his family kind of took me in, and they're kind of like my mom and dad, and like I go to their house for the holidays and stuff. But even that like shows me the importance of like what it takes for them as a family of three kids to bring in like a fourth kid. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Like put a stocking up for me every year and a plate out mm -hmm. for me and like care like it's just it, it really does show me like you know what i mean like it's a blessing it's not something you just get so that is why like too on holidays and all that shit i'm online like if you know if you don't feel loved today like i love you like i think i am just kind of like the island for misfits <laughs> but that's that's cool that you, cool. Were t you, you were able to take your situation and turn it into and it something so inspiring that you did and I think that's yeah. really powerful. Do you? This is the deepest we've ever gotten. Thank you. <laughs> no, that, that it's actually really yeah. cool. Like we've a lot of to, people like, black out and talk shit, and we're so woke. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this was supposed to be a podcast. We're just getting yeah. fucked it's up. So but that's what I do. Like, yeah. like cry yeah. and then talk about sucking dick. It's like this weird. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I like don't get it. You but, get it all here. I mean, Wait, all so, you know, here where we do are. you stand with like? I know. How old are you? Twenty four. Twenty two. Twenty. You're. 
I don't you're 22. Know. I, didn't know you were, I didn't know you were that young, Tana. But wow. I'm I literally 22. thought you were 23, 24. No, I'm 22. But I mean, it shows in my lack of planning. Oh, wow. And, you know. okay, okay, so you are still place. like young. <laughs> it's the box of So I shouldn't be comparing myself to you at all. I'm 28. Well, I know. I'm saying, I'm saying oh, like, regardless bad. of age, you shouldn't be comparing yourself <laughs> no, to I know. I know. I'm like, oh, I miss flights like you. Like, but like, I'm like, 28 and I'm missing same. flights. That's, no. I miss flights That's too. <laughs> no, not a, not a good way. I'm like, fuck. This bad. Okay. Um, that's really inspiring. Like it you're is. so Stop. young. Yeah. I'm not. I guys, didn't realize you were that dumb. Yeah. I literally too. thought Tana you were a little bit older. Come on. No, but that, like that's the thing. Like it's not. It's <laughs> not good. about. Like you say, like oh, I'm dumb. I'm this, this, this. Like all these negative things about yourself. But like what you've done is so incredible, <laughs> and like the success Thank that you. you've gained for just being who you are. You're very sweet. And I think you're very smart. It took yeah. I think a while. people don't realize that. Well, I but think. You, but at the end of the day, you are a sweet person. You're very caring, and like. You may flake and do stuff that we're like, oh, she's flaky, whatever. But like, <laughs> she's done you, some dumb you, shit. You are caring. And I could just honestly say I've lived my life like fully online. You know, whether it's the mistakes, whether whatever it is, I've been impulsive. I've been crazy. I've been dumb. I've been fake. I've been a flake. I've been like a lot of fucking things, you know, but it, like I've come back and I've, I've clarified it. And I've You're said, aware. Like, yeah. You know, like I've, I've, I was a kid through this. I grew up all online. Like not every moment's going to be perfect, yeah. especially like in the shoes that I've been in. I know that I've been presented with so many things that were like crazy, but. I don't know. I'm here and I'm happy. It's it's weird to look at it as like inspiring because it's like you know I've had so many scandals and it's been like a weird roller coaster to like get but here. You're right, young, but people you're are in your like... situ your exact situation. Like there's kids that are growing up exactly how you did. You're right. So and they could like, be like, okay, I could I can do anything. That like I want. and if I help them, I feel like that is like what I'm living for, no matter yeah. what. Like I'm never gonna be able to sit here and say I, I did it all like without a scandal and like what right now I'm gonna stop having scandals forever. No, I'll probably fucking be scandalous until the career is over until the clout runs out. Like, you know what I mean? But like, um, if I can help people, that really is. Is it like a rush now when you get, when there's a scandal or is it just, is it just like, just another day, normal? just a no, Tuesday. It's actually just another day, which is so fucking annoying. Cause I miss the rush. I'm bored. Oh my God. I, like really, like I remember when there was a rush, like I think during the whole like fake wedding time marriage, it was, you know, it was what fake? was it? It wasn't, I was in love, which is worse. Oh, it like, was fake. No, I, no, yeah, you can do you can do the whole like clip thing. Should I re-say it better? I, mean, <laughs> I, don't care. I loved him, which is worse than faking a marriage. You know what I mean? I'd almost rather say the marriage was real and like I didn't love him. Like I don't even know if it was fake because we like did the whole thing. Yeah, I don't even know. think I don't even what? think she knows. Like, I, like, yeah. <laughs> that's the problem is everyone wants this big clarification. I'm like, I loved him, I was an idiot, and I don't know. It's so <laughs> yeah. crazy because like friends of Zane and I, like from high school, were like posting you guys is like pictures yeah, and stuff it made it was no like, sense this is yeah and then put like the, <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh she's getting and married like, to Jake. And it, it's so crazy because like obviously like we knew you but it's so funny to like see people outside of like our normal friend group out here in la that are like so excited about you guys <laughs> and we're like i remember Jake and, and we have I, to like, like bring him back down guys too and i was like uh, this is just such a weird situation i wonder what they think of it it, yeah, definitely. That was time the, was the what scandal. Was the breaking point? The scandal of it all was exciting then, though. Definitely. Now it's just like daily. Like people think I'm fucking thirty years old. I just had that scandal, which is tragic. <laughs> like for real. What the breaking point? What do you mean? With, with you and Jake. <laughs> oh, there's been like nine. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna um, say you guys have said you've got you've been everything. You've been friends. You've been best friends. You've been worst enemies. You've been like married. You've been not. You've been those like are everything. all true. Like, are so you guys friends right now? Like what, yeah, we're like best friends right now. Which oh, is okay. good. What about tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys. Just like joke around about all this shit that's been happening with both of you. He no. really is like my best friend. I'm not kidding. Like he's like my favorite person to like hit up over shit and just like talk about life. He's a person I go like I actually like the other day. This is fucked up to say, and I hate that it is my truth. Like it's so bad. <laughs> like that's the worst part about all of this is it's like I'm not even saying it like you know what I mean for yeah. attention. Like it's genuinely my truth, which is so fucking ugly. But like if I killed someone, I would probably call Jake and be like, I just killed someone. Like what do I do? Like one person. Like my trust for him is literally. 100 what, what would he say he would help where are we burying <laughs> no, exactly honestly he would say like where are we burying the body like i'll, I'll help you oh my god and, and he has helped me out of some life or death crazy situations. and he has covered up a murder for me before. <laughs> i feel like it's, a, it's probably a really important friendship for you honestly because i know that like that was a lot of your like a lot of your strife came from that time in your life when like you were doing all the stuff with jake and like you were 
in a lot of capacities, like it felt like you were living your life more for an audience than you were for yourself. 100%. So the fact that he was the person that you were doing that with. Yeah, like you're not important. alone in it. Yeah, that exactly. he can help you through those moments. And we kind of like, bonded through that. Right. Yeah, like that's, like, you're so smart. I love to hear it. Oh, I'm going to get in this bitch's head. He's the best. Um, but that is true. That is true. Like what to, to, you know what I mean? Even you two, like to navigate this thing with someone else, you three, like all of you to really navigate this like with someone else and not feel as alone in it is very, very important and I think that I felt like I knew what like fame was kind of before meeting him and then I kind of entered like his life almost you know right. what I mean and then was like oh this is really fucking different I actually can't do fucking anything and it's kind of miserable and then it's like once you take it on you can't really walk out of it so then it's almost like okay let's join this misery together how do I navigate this and figure it out and yeah. literally every time I fall in he's like every, like every single time ever picks me up so it's, it's almost better that we're friends I think but it, it is a mess for sure as long as you, you guys are still like, have that closeness yeah that's why I feel like it's important that like you have you've been referencing your life coach you're talking about buzz right when yes. you're talking about your life coach. so it's like I feel like it's important to have those people in your <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Please stop doing that. <laughs> Please stop making hand gestures towards me. Like, I feel like it's just important to have those people that are in your corner that because your persona to the outside eye it's like your persona would say like oh you're you're so independent and i think you really are you are an independent person and you know it's a product of your raising or your lack thereof with your yeah. you know but you Except are when i fucking rely on these stupid white men yeah it's like and you've, always, yeah. you've always been very vocal about like Get except him. for when i rely on these Get stupid him. paul brothers but like you know i think you are very independent but i think even independent people need to realize when there are times that you need to like lean on other people and that you don't have it all figured out why well, mm -hmm. yeah 100 percent. i always thought that you know especially in like what we do it's like i did this for myself no one knows like you know i can't trust anyone and people just fuck me over so much that i was just like fuck it like you know what i mean but now i'm at a, there was a point like for sure i like remember the literal day like it was during the mtv stuff i was doing a lot of like just xanax like drugs like just like hallucinogens crazy drugs whenever i was off so i would shoot the show and it would just make me so miserable because of lines being fed or i would know that everything was going to be edited to make me just like look fucking terrible which right. sucks to say it's a, but i signed up for it it's oh not you know like what i honestly thought you had like a, a lot of the control for uh, over the editing and that's how it's supposed to look too is that i mm. you know that's how deep like that goes like oh which... <laughs> I'm, I'm so surprised i'm so surprised hearing that actually yeah i was surprised when i found out what control means in like the the traditional world you know what i wow. mean like okay. it's not it is not the same thing as what we do but it it's made not me very very a vlog that you put out no all and it made no. me so grateful for sitting there and editing my vlogs and getting to choose every word i put in and it made me almost go back to youtube with this like insane like tender-hearted fucking love because i was like no one can fuck on this video no one can fuck on me like you know what i mean that's so that there was just a time where I kind of accepted that fate and it, just a lot of things were happening to make me look a certain way. And so anytime I was like off camera, I was just not sober, like at right. all, because I, I just didn't want to live the reality. And then I was watching Justin Bieber's seasons and he was kind of talking about the time that he was like, you know, pissing in fucking buckets and saying crazy shit and getting DUIs and all that type of stuff. You're like, oh my God, that's me. And I'm right, no, I'm right no, there. I swear to God, I was watching this shit and I was like, oh my God, me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I pissed in a bucket King. too. <laughs> 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 like you drank piss too. <laughs> I drank my piss from a bucket. And that's when you know your shit is fucked. When you're sitting at home casting Justin Bieber seasons and the person you've related to the most in a year is like Justin Bieber pissing in a bucket, you know? <laughs> like like you're down bad, bro. And so he his life coach Buzz, like he accredits to saving his life, fully saving him from like not going off the deep end. I DM Buzz on some last resort psycho you shit. DM'd like him. Yes, please save me. Hi. Like please take me on. Are you taking new clients? And his front desk girl who went through his DMs was a fan, ironically, and they weren't taking any new clients. And she saw it and she took it to him and she was like, She needs help. <laughs> she you trust really me. Trust me. I I don't ask any God. questions. Just I take swear her. to God, she literally just took my fucking Instagram to Buzz and was like, This bitch is troubled. <laughs> Fix her. And oh for real, my and he came in on the FaceTime call and even on like my intake call, there was just so I, I can't really say what's going on. We've documented it all. We might like. We're debating how we want to put it out in the world, which is cool that I kind of made through it and documented yeah. it and stuff like that. But even on the intake, I was down bad. I think that's really <laughs> important, like, though. I think you're self-aware. So yeah, I was, yeah. Gonna, I was just going to say your self-awareness, I feel like, has gone through the roof lately. It had to because I, I think that I was I was being like 
almost like brought up in this shit by so many like narcissistic people who just weren't telling me shit how it was and I was I was looking at things so jaded and just so many things like that and then it was like I sobered up and I I, I started <laughs> You're gonna laugh at this. Ah, she's it made me laugh so already. Bad. Just it's ironic as fuck. But I started doing a lot of studies on the brain. Like, oh, <laughs> no, well, tough and like mental. We're health. gonna have to take a break. Yeah, she like, she she quits YouTube oh. to like be a neurologist. But, no, like actually, Buzz is a neuroscientist on the side. So it's so funny whenever he's oh. fighting with people for me too. He's like, I'm a neuroscientist and I've been studying her brain. And like, well, um, that's what that's, I find interesting. That's that's right. Right. Like, I, like yeah. so when you started, that's, that's why she brain, cheated. Felt, <laughs> the shit don't add up. It felt like a glitch in the matrix when i was wa- like doing research for you and i was watching this i can't i think it was on the caller daddy podcast and you were talking about like doing brain scans and stuff about locating where your trauma lies and what types oh, like yeah. what parts of your brain it actually hinders like the growth of yeah and i found that so interesting because like you're really taking an in-depth look at Dude, like think... why you're so fucked up oh. honestly which is what i think we should all have well i just woke up one day and i was like this shit ain't right <laughs> ain't yeah. everybody living like this let's if talk two about plus that two is four. but i also think that what buzz specializes in is like the traumas of fame like i think it would be beneficial for every one of you like to do it you know what i mean like you're like kenny maybe not no, with you but no you guys you guys need to i'm, I'm <laughs> serious the way that the way that so many people idolizing you and just all that type of stuff like effects and like performing like giving your all and then like going to zero and then like high stress to like nothing like your cortisol levels in your brain like the way that you're stressed oh, and she you're like um, educated on it okay. what's it called what's it called the like um amygdala <laughs> hippocampus yeah, amygdala is um, correct that... amygdala is correct but what does your amygdala produce adrenaline thank you why am i i'm googling it, it? Why can I Neuro- it like neurology every... like oh, turn. Shit, I'm so when, you, when you have all this stress and high cortisol levels from like the fame and the life of it all like your your stress and your adrenaline are raising and it affects your ability to make even just moral decisions and so then when I, I was mixing that with drugs which also just like hinders your ability to make any moral decision properly and it would it was buzz really like pointing out like this is where you were fucked up look at your ability to make moral decisions this is where you had this scandal for being a dumbass does that line up and then it was kind of me like actually picking apart why the, like why I am the way I am and like getting really right. sober before I do anything running shit by anything <laughs> people like just <laughs> just trying to preserve this business and like be a little smarter so it's it's been a journey well sure. it's good that you're like wow. taking care of yourself like you're you're aware of it you're seeing somebody a lot of you're people care at of this it. point i mean it's i just became 22 and it was like you can only be like a flaky kid for so long i guess you know <laughs> have a piss. croissant I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Croissant. Yeah, are you hungry i, I could n- piss i have a bad bad pee problem the oh doctor God, that i too. saw she was uh, she asked me how my my peeing patterns were and i was and i told her like you know it's normal pee it's pattern. like you're not going to the bathroom every blah, blah, blah. i'm like no but my friend does so and i threw <laughs> you right under the bus fuck you and she was like she was like what do you mean i was like he, he goes to the bathroom a lot, like maybe like every 20, 30 minutes. And she's like, oh, that's really bad. I was like, can you see him? She's like, yeah, bring him in. <laughs> it's Zane being Wait, so, so you should, I think you should, go, I think you should go see her. She might help she you. She didn't say anything, though. She was just like, that's bad. Bring yeah, she in. said that's bad. No, she didn't say like what it could have been. Hear me out. No, like, no, I don't think she wanted to go that far. She has you. a fee. Like you went. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she has, has a fee for, for, for yeah. hundred dollars. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> First of all, you should see a doctor. I'm concerned that you go to the doctor and you just talk about him. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like you went to your doctor. I feel bad like, talking about like, how bad I am all the time. I got to bring other. I got to drink people with. You yeah, well, I have a friend. To talk about you. <laughs> Zane, I'm sorry. Am I burdening you? Let me talk about my friend. I have this friend Heath. Like at a doctor. If you think I'm bad, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm venting right now. I love you. <laughs> Before we continue, this episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store, makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable, and that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh offers 23-plus recipes each week featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients so you'll never get bored. I actually just got my parents a HelloFresh subscription for five weeks for Christmas. Yeah? And they're super excited because they're not the type of people that would like go grocery shop and buy ingredients for for new recipes they don't look up new recipes like they just they, cook the same thing every i've time. had the same meal at my parents house for the last 10 years yeah i know so i'm excited for them to like try new things because they, they like getting different stuff they yeah. just would never make it so it's really cool that they're like gonna be making these new recipes yeah and i feel like they'd really love it too oh my dude like my mom and dad love cooking uh-huh they're just so boring. Like yeah. they're they're actually really boring with food. Uh-huh. So like I feel like this is like the perfect gift for them. And it's awesome because they offer 
healthy options too. They have a low cal, carb smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options every week. And no matter what you choose, every single recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. You can also easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh also has Easy Eats, which offers tons of quick and easy meal solutions like oven ready and 10 to 20 minute meals, perfect for your busy schedule. So guys, if you wanna get it for yourself, for a loved one, a friend, a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, all you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash 10 unfiltered and use code 10 unfiltered for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Again, that's uh, HelloFresh.com slash 10 unfiltered and use code 10 unfiltered for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Why would you not want to get 10 free meals? Baby, put HelloFresh as part of your New Year's resolution. If you're going to start eating Eat better, healthy. this is the best way to go. I genuinely like HelloFresh. Yeah. I think that every meal I've ever had has been top notch yeah and i'm still with HelloFresh. i get their meals every week it's, it's so great. fun yeah like it, it it actually makes cooking easy fun you're not wasting any ingredients you're not going to the grocery store like it's just like everything you need is taken care of and it's at your door and how do you think i stay so skinny baby how do you think he glue up yeah baby, that's my glow and HelloFresh sponsor my glow up you know what i mean we love you HelloFresh. thank you so much HelloFresh. we also want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor audible if you guys don't know what audible is audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks ranging from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs languages business motivation and more like original entertainment and now podcasts and recently they just launched the newest plan audible plus which is full of thousands and thousands of select originals audiobooks and podcasts including ad-free versions of popular shows as well as exclusive series it also connects you to tons of <clears throat> it also connect <clears throat> it also connects you to tons of content that entertains inspires and informs it's easy to find just the right listen whether it's comedy romance suspense true crime science fiction or fitness and wellness you can even squeeze in a workout or guided meditation without having to go to a gym or class and now is the best time to try Audible Plus because with our holiday offer, you're getting the best offer of the year. And it's for only $4.95 a month for your first six months. After your first six months, it's only $7.95 a month to download and stream thousands of all you can listen to audiobooks, originals, podcasts, included in the Audible Plus plan. I actually just got Audible a couple weeks ago. I was talking to Casey. I told you about this when yeah. we were hiking. So Casey was was talking to me about like reading and I was like, I, I love reading. I just don't have the time to sit down and read. Yeah. And he was like, dude, just listen to it while you're in the car and like hanging out at your house yeah um so i'm actually listening to a a bitcoin book right now mm -hmm. that i showed you yeah um it's it's so good like it, just being able to listen to it like i feel like i digest an audio book better than me actually looking at it yeah because like when when i'm physically reading i i don't like take stuff in but when i listen it resonates more with me and I can retain it better. Yeah. And Heath was telling me on, the, on our hike, he was saying, Zane, you should just like read more books. And I'm like, dude, I don't like reading books at all. I, He's I, like, okay, then get audible because you could just literally listen to the books. And I definitely better at listening to books than reading for and sure. And it's crazy so. that this was before the ad. Like this is like before we got audible ad read. Yeah. Like this is like something that we genuinely talked about. Yeah. Audible Plus is all about giving members a chance to listen and discover new favorites and explore different formats like the exclusive words and music series or a podcast you never considered before. So guys, if you're like Zane and I and you have a hard time actually reading, please try Audible. All you got to do is go to audible.com slash unfiltered or text unfiltered to 500-500. Again, that's audible.com slash unfiltered or text unfiltered to 500-500 to get Audible Plus for $4.95 a month for your first six months. Thank you so much, Audible. We love you, and we really appreciate how much you help our brains. <laughs> Thank you. We all said how much, how like all the good things about you. Now we need to say all the bad shit. Zane, you gave no. me one compliment. <laughs> <laughs> all the good shit. He goes, I stand by my statement. That's the only I was thing so I had to say about saying you. That. Hey, we said a lot of good shit we about you. We said so much fucking good shit. Can we get back <laughs> to the real thing? Zane, Zane talked about it. It was, it was in the podcast. Yeah. Zane's like, <laughs> I looked Kenny's at someone while well, they said something nice to you, Tana. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Mariah, is we your fault with Tana? You guys yeah. are fighting. So we got beef. Fighting. You guys Can we box say? for fucking money, dude. Boxing makes Whoa, so much money. Ryan Tanner, let me go fight. Dude, boxing, <laughs> makes, do boxing nope. makes more money than anything I've ever done. Uh, we see that. Like, no, I'm scared. <laughs> like, if I'm fighting Josie and Seiko next month, don't ask questions. Like, just come. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Whoa. What if I was a boxer? I'm serious. Do you guys hate it? <laughs> what if I was a boxer? Tana. It's funny because I got hit up a few months ago. Our, our manager, like, reached out and was like, yo, Heath, box, would, bitch, would, you, you Heath would you box? And I was like, <laughs> box what in what context 
<laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, would you like like box well, like you say uh, you other won't. influencers? I was like, I guess. He's like, who do you have beef with? I was like, I don't have beef, <laughs> oh beef with God. anybody. It's like how you have to be an influencer now. Like if you don't have beef with someone, like are you even yeah. Bryce Halling? Like are you even cool? <laughs> he tried and he tried to get me in on a fight because he was like, Heath is thinking no, about it. I was like, box. <laughs> no, he, he was like, I'm not. He was like, who would you fight like in your friend group? Like would you fight Todd, Scott, <laughs> Zane? I was like, oh my God. Wait. Like you guys kind of just inspired me to fight my friends. I'm like, Ashley, square the fuck up, kind. No, I'm serious. You two can fight. You make a million that, dollars what, and you're already what, friends. Just do it. What makes a fight Zane, we is just, the beef. We, we just agree with it. We just go out there and just like. <laughs> <laughs> we just stand. Yo, yo, yo. Tana, yo, Tana that's going to be like a straight, straight <laughs> up <laughs> fucking just slap Tana, match. Honestly, at this point, I could see you boxing with Mindy. Oh my god! Don't even get me started. <laughs> this I don't even know if we should get, like. I don't think we're gonna get to my current life. Like this we past will. two weeks, we have will. been a fucking shit show. It's They've fine. been hell. The luck is on zero, <laughs> zero. zero. But I, I I don't know if we're I don't know if we'll get there. So what? Who's Mindy, by the way? Mindy is an anonymous person that Tana has beef with currently. Uh, my um, honestly, my, I was best friends with this girl, and I caught her fucking my current fuck buddy in the movie theater of Ooh. my house, like the day of Halloween, and it was just a terrible week. Week, and then everything she did after that just made oh, is she Shit. is she like a like a really good friend we were of best yours friends. We how were, long have you been like best a friends year for? we were best friends for probably and then like another year of like close friendship also That's by the, the way it's if an i keep L- itching, it's an la friend it's an la friend if i found. keep itching my nose i'm not on cocaine by the way it's it's a part of the tooth thing whatever i said about teeth that's that the cocaine, it it's prescribed even, medicine that which she was given by the doctor i just feel like if i itch my nose a lot people are gonna conspiracize so hey um, We're gonna cut that so also. Mindy, yeah, probably, probably should. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Honestly, that was just a hiccup in the week last week. My best friend fucked my fuck buddy. I caught them. It was not cute. I made a story time about it. I was gonna say at yeah. least it led to a story time. Today, Hunter, my roommate and one of my best friends, and also one of the people in your fun little game that we're gonna play soon. Um, <laughs> Wait, bad Hunter. Okay. Um, he actually posted a story saying, "How are we feeling today?" And Mindy responded to it and said, "Canceled." So <laughs> she's been aware. She know what's coming, baby. And she's definitely very aware. She definitely. I, I don't really know. I don't know. That yeah. was today. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're keeping up. She wants to sue. There's a whole there's a whole follow up. Was she trying that to keep it like secretive? Was it supposed to be something super secret? Like you're not supposed to know, or did she not really care? She was like, fuck, if they're just fuck buddies. It no, I think be it's fine. more so like a bad thing that happened in real life, and then I made a video about it. And like when I make a video about it, like it's not that people like don't find out. It's not that I want people to find out, it's more so that it just goes hand in hand. A story time definitely never doesn't have like a follow-up too. Like if I don't make a follow-up, like okay, but like just know like people yeah. are like digging up their like like great grandma's uncle's aunt's dog and like threatening them which fucking <laughs> sucks and then i have to go like yell at people for being shitty and then like it's like this whole thing and mm. i'm just trying to tell my story my truth <laughs> have you tried my talking truth. to her like behind the scenes about it she's texted me a lot but it's just like to be honest that's what makes it worse for me is it's like i i probably would never make a story time about someone if they like come back and vindicate themselves you know if you fuck my fuck buddy and then you're like you know what i'm sorry my bad for writing that dick in your movie theater i definitely could have done it at the hype house or post malone's next door like my bad <laughs> like i'd be like okay i forgive you you know but she's like it's because i was drunk and fucky you don't even care about him and then she like went and dressed as my other ex and like it became this oh whole oh my goodness her claim though, she dressed as little they... not two people on the fucking board i'm imagining <laughs> us going through something like this i'm gonna start calling you for the drama of it all like the uh, people love to just bring me fucking unnecessary i have really bad luck when it comes to drama for sure but that's what makes for my entire youtube channel so i was gonna say it might lead to more story times more story times y'all i'm back on story times i took like a a year and a half break because it started ruining my whole life like every time i would tell a story the person would try to sue me or try to get my youtube channel deleted or just anything so so you're back to that right now because you're trying to sue (laughs) me. no no people are trying to i'm fully just back i'm ready my next story is actually about an athlete he's gonna sue the shit out of me is she gonna (laughs) sue is she gonna (laughs) sue our show (laughs) is our whole podcast that's gonna be deleted. No, honestly, <gasps> honestly, I think she's directly targeting me. I'm sure she loves you guys. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mindy, we love you too. Oh shit, it just sounded bad. Mindy, Mindy's bad. our next guest. <laughs> Dude, actually, honestly. we have Mindy here right Square now. Up. Mindy, come on out. Square up. Square up. <laughs> That's some shit y'all would do. That reminds me of when I was on Maury. I've lived a life. I was on Maury. Oh, you were with Elijah that. and Christine. But I also was dating Lil Xan. And I'm like, sorry, imagine- who's Lil Xan? Exactly. I don't know oh, who Lil, Lil Xan is. I hear his name 
all the time. Never looked him up. Never searched I'm his so name. I'm so chill with you not knowing. No disrespect to Lil Zan. He's, I'm sure uh, you're great, but I don't know who Lil Zan is. He looks like he's 13. <laughs> oh, Face no. tats. <clears throat> That's how you're fu- say. Like, no, but like. He's not 13, to be clear. <laughs> how, how old is he? 18? No, no. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> she has to look up his famous birthday. Lil Zan age. Once, 24. <laughs> he's 24. 24. 24. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, he's not. John Moore. Yeah. This is him, if you want to know. His Tell name. me he doesn't oh, look do. 13. I've had some questionable relationships. Oh. I'm not going to lie. He's not like... Whoa! Wait, so you he's not part of the Cyrus family. Ten, 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 how does part this of the, make you feel? Wait! What? Is he part of the Cyrus <laughs> I family? I about that. No. no. Wait, what? He In looks the... like a Cyrus. She's dated him. She's dated... Who, who's dated? She Her? dated I him and Noah. I know. I know. Oh no! And oh. they dated. Yeah. Oh, they dated. Yeah. That's oh actually, my god! That's I didn't how, see that. That's how Noah and I Don't bonded see and started ding? like fucking that was with a each other. That oh, was, we just had something in common. <laughs> no, we cheated on both of us. I swear to God. Oh, that's not <laughs> a very good picture of him. It is, 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 <laughs> no, that went viral. I remember. I was. Oh, at, was do you know what's funny? Is I was, was like, at no, that VMAs. Okay. I was hitting on Matt King. I remember Matt King was fully oh! hitting on me back. <laughs> full circle. Full circle. And they took that photo, and I remember seeing that photo, and I said to Matt King, "That's gonna go viral." And then it did for him being like fucking. <laughs> wow, you <laughs> manifested that. Shit. But like, that yeah. is a crazy photo. Photo, though. And then I gave She them... looks beautiful. Yeah, she's, <laughs> that's she's perfect. I feel bad even saying that, but that was just a bad picture. Well, like... he's got a lot of those. Lil Zan likes to show up to red carpets, baby. But that's his brand, you know. He's Lil Zan. Are, are yeah. you in no uh, Noah no longer? Noah longer? <laughs> I figure that out every week. <laughs> oh, <Aww. laughs> <laughs> oh, tragic. Um, <laughs> there's always hope there. I love that girl to death. I could probably like. I don't even know. Anything I could say is very sweet. She's the best in the whole world. Like, she supports me through everything. I support her through everything. We go on and off. <laughs> hey, Noah. <laughs> she was a very, she, no, she wasn't. She we met her. Um, we met her at Sal, she will. right? She'll yeah, that one night. Story. She was a really sweet girl. She was very sweet. She's, like, actually the sweetest human ever and, like, so dope and so talented. And, like, just, like, her heart, like, actually makes me want to cry. One, like, I'm one like, thing I will say is, like, seeing you guys together, I could tell she cared about your best interest. I'm gonna text her right now. Like, yeah. him. You, you, <laughs> could, you could tell she was just like she was there for you. One hundred percent. And I thought that was really cool. Wait, that's actually so sweet. It's true. No, and I like like we always try to look out for each other and like through thick and thin. Like it's not like for camera. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a real friendship, and I do appreciate that like very much. Because like we were just talking about like to find someone who understands like the shit that you go through, and like she was born into this shit. She's someone that like. This is I, all I think she knows. I actually, to be honest, I think that's really like why I feel so much love for her because I look at her life and I think that most people just could never live it. Like, like she was literally <laughs> born onto like a Hannah Montana tour bus, like getting schooled on the fucking tour bus, like learning English class, like having to like be a Miley fan on set. And, like, oh, that's insane. No, it's, it's it's insane, and it's nothing against that, like at all, because you know what I mean. It was like a part of her life. Her dad was Billy Ray, and it was so cool, and it brought her, it made her this insane, talented singer and songwriter. But I just think that anyone who has to like grow up in the fame world of it all and makes it out and it's like a person like i have insane respect for so mm-hmm. love her queen love you yeah, we love you too queen. <laughs> i don't know i don't know I you only guys get back to together are. from her seeing this podcast That'd yeah we want to cool. make we want to make it happen we we no, see it. come on out oh my gosh she, <laughs> no she would kill it she'd just be high and kill it she's probably one of my only ex-girlfriends that i don't hate so i wouldn't even call her my ex-girlfriend just a queen so before uh, this podcast started, we asked Tana Word. to talk about her uh, her notorious flings, hookups, relationships, flings, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and we asked her to uh, write down some facts about each of these flings that we have chosen. You picked a fun array too, because they were they were oh, like good. close association, and then like oh you hit that, and like we know. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> and that's that's and what so, I was aiming so, to do. So I gave you facts for both, and I'm not gonna lie, every single thing that is about to be read out loud is going to cause me a lawsuit, an angry, <laughs> an angry text message, uh, like a frustrating call, like a Daily Mail article, like a new manager, Perfect. like fucking like only on like, Zany Heath and Filter you're gonna Tana get that shit. Will be sued because of this. I'm I being like say. dead ass serious, like it's like eight scandals in a hat. No, but, but like a- I, I gave it to you because I wanted to. Perfect. Perfect. I mean that's amazing because that will <laughs> inevitably because she's trying to get a fucking boxing match. That's <laughs> right, girl. <laughs> right. Honestly. Yeah. I'm not doing this for you at all. I literally for just want to be on like People Magazine Snapchat article tomorrow. Like, what's it's up? a boxing tour with all the guys she has on this list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's some girls. Dude, there's Dan, some girls too. Oh, there's some the girls best. too. Some girls on the okay, yeah. okay. That's important. 
I love that you're, I love that because honestly, your uh, description of that is going to lead to a raise in my a pansexual uh, icon. I couldn't fight most of my exes. Let's get into this. that could catch these fucking hands. <laughs> so um, we've given Tana, what is it? I finished seven? this. We've given Tana eight names of people who she has been associated with, whether it's in a relationship or in a hookup or whatever. Just in general. In general. Maybe MTV recorded something I said in the bathroom and then it aired on an episode and that's you know, know you know where I was getting lit today. she pointed at me she's like bring me a truly <laughs> <laughs> Baba, yeah Mariah do you know that I absolutely cut it whatever I absolutely live for like Long Island like Mariah I don't like, cut Ma- that Mariah okay I'll suck your <laughs> she's ass she's leaving that <laughs> in you suck my so ass so funny on TikTok thank you I think you're so funny oh my we have a Cheers, thumbnail dude. Heath Tana wants to eat, eat my Mariah. girlfriend's ass <laughs> I'm spilling. I'm after spill this game, like, yeah, I just after so this much. game, can we get straight into that OnlyFans? I have a lot to talk about with you. With Zane, you can be on it. You can be on, do you know? I just That's... had my first male guest on my OnlyFans, Harry Jowzy. He signed up. And wait, he was on I... the OnlyFans. Wait, 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 no. wait. No, okay. wait. We gotta get into the game. We gotta get into the game. In my shower, 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 in my shower, I made him black out with me, and then I was like, "I'll give you ten percent if this is what OnlyFans is like." Oh, it's it's wild. It's you guys world. collab like that? Well, no, he doesn't have one. He doesn't have one. I just like to spunk it up, you know, spice it up. Like I'll give you ass pictures. I want pictures. the people. Uh, Zane, Zane. You want 30%, 40 50 What do you want? I'll me? do like a, a, a generous 15% and I'll do ass pictures <laughs> Wait, for you. Wait, what are you doing in an hour? <laughs> we can make you a just oh, are you having like pictures. a whole collaboration Zane, Zane, on like only... can make like a million dollars. Fuck Zane this goes, podcast. Zane, like, are you <laughs> just never underestimate it. It's never something I thought would be my... Kenny opinion. Mariah. It's those faces for me. Me, um, Penny, my, who wants to take who wants so, to take the seat? Um, do yeah. you know that out of every part of my body, <laughs> your feet make feet. the most? Not my tits, not my ass. I, I don't put my pussy because you know I'm a sweet girl. Your butthole. Um, <laughs> my feet, and I don't mean like shoes off. I mean like shoe on, like hello, like this. What? I like no, those shoes. Not. The most money. I don't believe that. Well, go to tanaandcensor.com. <laughs> <laughs> The shame, it's the shameless plug for me. No, Wait, Tana, shoes I'm, on? I'm yeah, going yeah, yeah. to plug your fucking face. People just want to see you taking your socks off. Like, people care more about you taking your socks off. Are you I serious? Said, yes, and I will take my sock off for a million dollar check any fucking day. What's up? Only well, you keep saying a million dollar check for a pit. Is that for real? Well, not one picture. There's some work for sure, but yes. Okay. Or some work. How, do you, <laughs> how many pics get you a million bucks? How many well, pairs of socks do you It's have? photos. I'm like in it. You know what I mean? She's like... Right foot, left foot. No, no, no. Left no. I'm just right like, foot. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like in it now. <laughs> Tana, um, how do you follow? How do your followers feel about like male duos? Oh, yo, come on, we'll try anything out over on Tana Uncensored. I'm trying to just really optimize I, the market. I have a cool, I have a cute idea for what socks that Heath and I are gonna wear. Oh, I got, I got little like I got shorty, I got shorty, shorty, we have dizzy socks. Let's go. Come just on. like like toeless dizzy socks. Not toeless. Get, like, toeless. Zane, like, you don't even have to get they, that. Free they they get a little peak before you take it off. Zane, you don't even have to get that. Freaky baby. Oh, like, okay, I'll wear the okay. ones that have the individual yeah, things modest. that go on the toes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Oh my yeah, god, the, tell me why I'm Amazon socks. ordering those. You might have just made me like some extra money. You just made her a million dollars. I'll take a here. modest 85%. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do they have a restriction where nobody can screenshot or screen record or anything? Do you actually want to know what's really funny? Is no, not at all. Obviously, anyone has a phone and they can screenshot. I'm drunk. Can you tell? I'm like, so I feel like I've never seen it. Um, I've never seen like anybody's no, no, shit. No, so listen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah. people are probably no. pissed. Like, they don't want to like spend the money and then go post that for no. yeah. people to like. Listen to this shit. I hire a full team team of like eight people it's called the dmc takedown team and their entire job is and i I go and visit them sometimes it's fucking insane they sit around this insanely big table all of them on laptops and their entire job is to take down like illegal articles like like illegal posting like like because when someone's posting a screenshot of like the copywritten image like it's a paid for image you know what i mean so like these people's entire job is to sit there and just no, no, you fucking won't. Like, this is deleted, like whatever. Oh, and they just get all the. And how fast does but this happen? What's awesome about that too, I guess, is like a lot of people use it for like bad press. You know me, I'm, I'm yeah. like, give me bad press. Like bad press is good press, so I don't have them take down press. But like they, they just sit there and take down my nudes off Twitter, like all. Oh, Tanner, remember when That's you asked me earlier job. if I was available for hire? I am, and I would love to be a part of that team. Oh my god, <laughs> Tana does have an entire team of ten employees taking down her nudes all day. Right now, they are taking down my nudes off Twitter. I'm not joking. It's iconic. Saints. It's cool. You posted a little award thing saying that you made Ooh. three million dollars off I OnlyFans. I saw that and could not believe it. Was That's that for a month or is that from you? I give a percentage to my agency. You know what I mean. Good right? girl. <laughs> Good girl. As you should. Um, is that for, for from the whole people, time you've been on there or a month? No, a month. 
That it's was one month. It's, you're selling all Bubba, this shit. What are you doing? Take your freaking <laughs> shoes off. <laughs> no, <damn. laughs> she, puts shoes her, off. she makes her slits bigger in her jeans. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no, it, it, changes, <laughs> it actually changes the whole way you think. It changes your whole life. It becomes everything. It's not just one thing. Like, like for example, right now, like I'm selling a long BTS vlog of me and Riley Reed doing a whole photo shoot. You know what I mean? For like for like sixty dollars. So Don't every person who buys that sixty dollars. So let's big. say like a thousand people buy that. For, oh, sixty dollars you know, that, per view. Per video. So then that's sixty thousand dollars for that. Then it's twenty five dollars a photo for eight different photos. So then let's say ten thousand people buy the twenty five. You know what I mean? Like it. Okay. And I, then it's boomerang. I don't want to make Wait coffee anymore. <laughs> I, I, that's fucking insane. I know. promise we're gonna like, get y'all see the... me getting ass shots and you're like, oh no, that looks painful, and I'm like, well, I'm paying the rent. But Here like, I am wearing her but, merch, thinking she needs okay. like a push. <laughs> 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 Really funny, really <laughs> fucking funny. Love to see it. Mariah, but, 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 Mariah in the mirror before the episode. Not to, you know, not to she, throw. she needs it. No, literally, Mariah was like, my eyelash is falling off. Hold on, use Cotana, I think I did com. that. I, I got no brand deals for like a year. Let's be real. Who cares? <laughs> Who fucking cares? Yeah, that, that, that would go out the window I'm for me. Insane. But I, for real, it took me a place to find a way to monetize being uncensored. And wow. that's a big thing of it too is smoking. I smoke so much weed. Like, so, like I will smoke weed. <laughs> Wait, is that a kink? Is Wait, that like a kink? Of people want to see you get high people all the time. People want to see it. It's a personality. Trait. The biggest thing I'm working on right now is like a whole get high with me series, seeing who can outsmoke wow. me, like what celebrities, what people, what. Because I tweeted like I'll give ten thousand dollars to anyone who can outsmoke me, and that was like when I wanted to start the whole like boxing like match like type of thing, like like what's my lane, you know? But and you haven't, start, you haven't started that yet. Instead well, of boxing, Tana do, goes to hot boxing. No, exactly. Why boxing? Right. Hot hot boxing. boxing. Why boxing? Nice. Oh. And, so, and so all these people hit me up. They're like smoking YouTubers, like but all the way to like Snoop Dogg. Like no, what does getting outsmoked so, look like? Um, it means sitting there with someone smoking marijuana for hours and hours and hours and hours. Hour? Someone Where's the last out one? And says I'm too high. Like I can't do it anymore, and then whoever wow. that person is gets ten thousand dollars. And that so I'm about to. I, I kind of want to take on a whole like ten episode series of doing that with like wow, like celebrities, athletes, YouTubers. Everything. On Tana Uncensored, you like either uh, on Tana Uncensored or on YouTube. I haven't decided. I really want to have Jacob Sartorius on too. I've been messaging him all week. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, I would watch that. No, I, I would watch that. I know we're gonna go. I want to go crazy with the guests. Like expected, unexpected, expected, un but I I don't know where to house it because YouTube hates feet? weed. I don't think so. Oh. I don't want to upset of him. <laughs> I, I don't want to sexualize Jacob Sartorius. Let me tell you well, something. How I mean, old like, is he? 18. He's got to be 18. Yeah, 18. Smoked a lot oh. of weed, though. I'm not going to lie. Because I was scared to smoke weed with him. Because even if you're 18, like, yes, you're legal, but, like, you're a child. And I'm 22, and I want to leave you alone. Yeah. And then he was like, I smoke 100,000 backwards a day. And then all these rappers <laughs> oh, that I work shit. with. Do you know that, like... Okay, Jay. I'm not going to say who, but, like, several rappers I work with, like, big rappers. Like, I'm saying, like, A-list, where, like, I smoked a pound in a day with him once. Like, blah, blah, Jeez. blah. This. So he like established his name in like the weed smoking world. Jacob got your credit for you for TikTok. Oh my god, yo! Um, I'm serious. Think from like, Macon think... to fuck. No, hold on, that's not Macon. No, what was you? You go wear my sweatshirt. Do you know that he's actually doing it? Well, I shouldn't even say a Let's remake. Just... I would love to be on that. That's all. I'll He's say. doing a remake. I would hop on a sweatshirt remake instantly. I think I would too. He tweeted about it, and I tweeted him, and I was like, "I will," you know. I think Heath and Your I should Hefner be on the sweatshirt song remake. Started blowing up again on TikTok. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it crushed, dude. Hefner, I will say, is the weirdest thing that ever happened to me to this day. Really? To well, this day. Wait a second. What do you mean it's blowing up again? <clears throat> so it's all over. It's, it's like gone on TikTok. viral on TikTok oh, like again? nine times. Like nine. Yeah. It Just keeps coming back. Oh, like, I, fuck, I've never seen it on TikTok. Stupid amount of time. Don't even, Zane, you're not on that TikTok. You're, <laughs> on, a, you're on a funny <laughs> side. You're not on a, like, take different down. Like, you're not on the dancing side. Like, don't I'm, even go I'm there. definitely not. I Neither don't see am any I. dancing TikToks. I didn't even know it was going viral until fucking Dixie and Charlie, like, cried to me at a boa dinner. Like, hey, we grew up to after. And I was like, Dixie, there's no way. Like That's fucking nuts. So now I'm actually I'm actually making a remix, honestly. It's the first time I'm, I'm saying it, like, publicly. But I'm, I want a crazy feature. So we've been the person I'm making it with, and I have been. I really want a female because I just think like a like a dope ass. Like, yeah, I'm That's not so gonna sick. lie. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Like, just knowing how much I spent on my 200th video, if I were to have a music video, I would probably have spent that much just for your a feature 200th like video. That. Changed the YouTube game. The way you had <laughs> Liza Koshy busting it. Liza, <laughs> oh, the way Liza. <laughs> no, but she was like Vogue. I just oh. oh. Did you screenshot Zane, that? I want more of that. Morning? I want more of that <laughs> from you. That. Why don't you serve us more high production? Because I, or I, it's, any it's production. Hard. This real cost, this real cost 
the production. <laughs> <laughs> having your nudes leaked is not even like embarrassing anymore. Well, it's kind of like just too. normal. The whole like J like Jay Alvarez, like that whole video coming out, or like when people's nudes come out, it's just I not dated him. I know we have that on the topic list. <laughs> That's a perfect segue. We do. I was what? the coconut oil of it all. I really was, and I can't hold it in any longer. He did the coconut trick to you. Yes, in my microwave, in my house, at my townhome. I will never forget it. And in Greece once. Um, wait, there was wait. multiple times. Yeah, he like lives for the coconut oil of it all. That's his claim to fame. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm sorry. I've never researched. Like, I don't know what coconut oil is. You're I not supposed I, to put that on your body. No, like, you why are people fuck with it as like lube, uh, like the lube of it all? But why was everybody like making fun that he's using coconut he, and oil? And there's this whole clip, and it's like, yep, yep. Like, oh my god. Yeah, I've seen it. I did research, and I've Fucking seen it. Kill me. So I'm, I'm just curious. If you want to get back into story time, what is your story time about Jay Alvarez? Because you've there mentioned so on your many. lives that you have stories no, about it. No, there's so many. I mean, we spent like six months of life kicking it. Like, you know, we're, we're, we are very different people, you know, mm -hmm. and there was a, a, a dating of it all. I don't know what you would really call it, but there are so many stories <laughs> that would tell you how different we are. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I wouldn't really say that Jay and I are in a place right now where we get along. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me. You have to say hi like five, yeah. to, to no, five different serious. people. I know, I know. Like, I'm serious. Sometimes you got to say hey through the, the red camera of it all. And that's just the life of Tana Mojo. Um, but he has me blocked on several social media oh, platforms sure. right now. Oh. But it, I don't think it ended that badly. I don't know. I did just like when you say you. He, did. I think that Jay just didn't. I'm very public. I talk about things, and you know. But he was it, there. Was the whole boyfriend does my makeup of it all? Like it was obviously public. So then when it was over, I was kind of like, he went away. Well, we were. <laughs> just, I, I was just talking to you about Heath about how like much. I don't know. I feel like it was very weird that his smut film like that came out was it, it was, was very it was great by the way that was well, filmed like a year well ago I, I've been known it was gonna come out he called me and was oh. like should I release a sex tape the girl Sveta is actually my really good friend well like I, we bonded over Jay being like a that was filmed boyfriend. a year ago yeah it I took was that long to edit or <laughs> Oh my God. No, I think I debating think that, putting I think it up. Jay was just debating on if he wanted to do that to his like career. Maybe I don't really know. It didn't even look like it did anything to his brand. Like I mean, I looked it up yeah. and it was barely even able to be located. But I found it. I think. And it I was think the thing fine. is like, if it looks like it was done on purpose or something like really good, it's just like oh, okay, yeah, that was great, great, awesome. But if it looks like something that shouldn't have been out, then yeah. people are going to be more inclined oh, to talk about it. Exactly. Exactly. If it was like, oh my god, this you could tell this it's is kind of like it's, be seen, it's kind of like James Charles's like ass picture that like got like leaked and he immediately posted. He's like, oh, this is the picture by the way, and nobody cared anymore. It's like when yeah. you get in front yeah. of it first and you do it yourself. No, oh, yeah. gives a I had fuck my nudes like when I was yeah. like 19, and the first thing I did was sell hoodies. I put that shit. I, I was sending them to Lil Xan. You can look it up. I swear to God, I was sending ass pics to Lil That's Xan. So funny. My iCloud got hacked. My my ass pic got leaked. Worst ass pic ever. I sold it on a hoodie that said leaked. Like, I didn't even have it. injections in my ass back then. Like, <laughs> it sucks. Oh my god! It's <laughs> all about how you make of it. Exactly. It's all about how you make and of if it. Your if ass you is fucking real don't care, moment, nobody cares. No one can take that from you if your ass is fucking real. That moment, girl. <laughs> Before we continue the rest of the episode, we'd like to give a big thank you to our next sponsor, BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from your goals? Yes, there is. Every day. <laughs> I, I, myself, I, I feel like it too. Don't worry. Every day. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is a professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors at any time. And it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So if you guys want to try this out, visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily at www.betterhelp.com slash reviews. All you got to do is go to betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's better H-E-L-P and join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. 
And I know I've had a really rough year when it comes to my mental health. So I definitely will be trying this out because therapy is just like offline therapy is just way too expensive. It really is, especially during it's these times. It's expensive and can be kind of awkward. Exactly. Like I, yeah. I know I don't like talking to people like in person. Like I, I kind of like freeze up. Yeah. So it, it does help being able to do it virtually. Yeah. And right now, like, I feel like I'm relying too much on like friends to talk to, which is fine. But I, sometimes you just need to talk to somebody professional and, and outside and, source too. Exactly. Right. So better help is definitely the uh, really good place to go to. And yeah, I'll definitely be trying it out. So I'll let you guys know. Take care of your brain. Everybody works out. Everybody eats healthy. Like your brain is the most important thing in the world. Exactly. Go to betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath and get 10% off your first month. Thank you, better help. And thank you for helping all of us. <laughs> so this game. <laughs> yeah, we got to do the game. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, we got to do the game. The no, game. we're gonna talk our shit forever, though. You're right. We will. We, 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 we will after the game. Oh, we'll yes, talk give me because I have a lot of questions after this game. Yeah, I, can I be honest with you? He told me to really like write how I felt. To okay. really like, there's this game. Like, like, like write. Like, be here's honest. some paper. Like, be honest. And I talked my shit. I D said what I had to say. Said your oh. It's definitely going to get me in some scandal. Let's see what you had to say. But I'm nervy. I'm excited. Okay. Right, so again, if you missed it earlier, uh, can you explain the rules? So she yeah, wrote down. I don't even remember. <laughs> so we had, uh, we, we had, Tana's had a lot of relationships, flings, hookups, whatever you want to call them in her lifetime. Amari said it last week. My favorite letter of the alphabet is X. Oh, just so rude. A lot okay. of X's. Oh, a lot cute. of X's Tana has. Put that in your bio. <laughs> so we asked her uh, about eight of her X's and we uh, asked eight? her. Eight? Like you fucking hooker. Just eight. <laughs> like eight? Um, like you eight. fucking hooker. <laughs> like eight? That is so ridiculous. Eight is so ridiculous. I wish it was like six. Okay, But this continue. is like in your lifetime. <laughs> no, it's I'm fine. fine. I'm fine. Tana, I'm fine. you're 22. It's okay. Eight is, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, right? Yeah, it's, when it's they're a normal sounds number. Rappers, when they're half rappers, it's fine. She's like, but four years each. <laughs> <laughs> what? Zane, you judge me through the duration of all of these relationships. I would see Zane at parties and he'd be like, so what are you doing with this person? <laughs> and I'm it's just always curious, somebody new. Because no. I really just want to know. No, I need to know. Yeah. Kenny, did you, you already said the rules, right? <laughs> I don't think I, okay, I don't think I did. Sorry. Okay, so we, okay, so Tana's had a lot of hookups, exes, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we asked two. her to say some stuff we about each her, of these exes. Yes, you guys, you two are going to try to guess what statement is yep. equated to which ex. Yeah. And oh, we have a, a hat full mm. of statements and we're going to get right into it. Ooh, so on the board, let's let's get into the X's that we have on the board. So we have Corinna. Well, X is bold. Hold on. <laughs> X flings, X boyfriends, X girlfriends, X, X whatever. X, just X things that are in the past. Benefits, yeah, X that's good. One right. hookup. Things He's that are no longer. Corinna, you know. Which I just want to say, I would have never publicized hooking up with Corinna. I love that girl. Sweet angel icon. We keep our own lanes, but she, she I went when on. when this happened. Yeah. Talk about it. What it was. Well, <laughs> don't, no, 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 wait, no, no. Let, wait, wait, let's, let's, let's get I'm into the game lie. before anything is given okay, away. Okay, okay. Let's get into the game You're so right. that you guys can, right, you, right. you guys are about to guess to what statements Tana wrote <laughs> and see if they are correct about which person. I have cool. so many things to say. Should I just hold them all back? Hold yes, them hold all them. back. Hold, hold on to them. Hold on to them. You're going to have time. We got on the board, we got Corinna, Tyga, Hunter. Hunter, Brad, Bella, Lozanne, Faze Banks, this and Noah Cyrus. Of such a random list. Was There's two people on there. I was like, No, you picked like roommates to like boyfriends to like acquaintance. You really got the array. Like, Kenny, do your thing. You really come with the surprises I'm I on this throw fucking up. episode. We love surprises. Oh, you got a puke? Here, baby no, girl. No, I just want to throw up. <laughs> so I'm burping fine. off camera due to stress. It's wow. Fine. Tana, okay. are you ready for the first uh, statement? I mean, I, every single thing I'm telling you right now, I wrote. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I know. It's in your uh, handwriting. Honestly, I looked at every single name and I thought of the first truth I could think. So Damn. It all is right. up to you the did it pretty, wow. pretty quick. Too. I might deny them all too, so stay tuned. Oh, okay, so okay. Okay. we fun. have uh, eight different statements in a hat. Come on, uh, hat. Tana is not going to tell us which <laughs> ones are correct, but she is going to tell us at the end how many are correct. Right. Oh, oh so she fun. won't drop the name. 
Yeah, we, she won't right. drop the no, name. I, I mean, care. Uh, I'll get sued nine times for me. Right. I did not write nice yeah. things. Off camera, who knows what's going to happen. But right now, we're not going to talk about <laughs> who specifically it is. But I'm going to draw the first uh, statement. And you guys are going to, uh, Zane and Heath are going <laughs> to tell me who you think this is equated this is to. Fun. Okay. This sounds like a real conversation I love between it. me and Zane. Heath is like the nice one. Heath is a girl me. Zane is always like, who did you cheat on? <laughs> who did you cheat on? <laughs> Kenny, what is it? Yeah, the first statement is... Cheated on me at a birthday party I threw for him. Jesus. No okay, way. well, she sent him, so that knocks it down to oh, shit. to seven people. Very good, Zane. Oh Process God. of elimination. <laughs> Cheated on me at a birthday party I threw for him. Have you have been birthday. through I'm going to say Brad. To, to um, you. <laughs> That you threw for him. I'm going to say... That's you're gonna, you, But I'm Mariah. not saying yes or no till the end. Right. Yeah. You're not yeah, going to yeah, say yeah. anything. Oh, Mariah's going to say be, how many we got. Yeah, you don't, even have to say, you don't even have to connect it. Just say how many we got but right and end, that's it. Yeah. Right. And yeah. Mariah, if, if you guys don't agree, Zane and Heath, Mariah is going to be the tiebreaker. So you say oh, Brad, okay. Heath, yeah, Zane, who Brad. do you say? Brad is a really good choice. Just because, um, like, that on the internet seemed really, like, funky. Yeah, that was. It like, was, like, honestly, she... I was rooting for you guys because you guys were really cute it together. It was wholesome, right? It was the first yeah. time I ever dated yeah. someone with that clout. You, it Brad. proved to you that I'm not a clout yeah. chaser. And by the way, you made it look like he really fucked you over. And that seems really yeah. fucked up. You made it look like... Yeah. I'm going to give Heath this one. And I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna go with... I'm going to go with... <laughs> I'm going to go with Lil Zane because that just sounds like something uh, Lil oh. Zane would do. Okay, yeah. so we got Brad, Souza, and Lil Zan. So, Mariah, Again, I don't you're going to have to be the yeah. uh, the tiebreaker <laughs> and tell us who you think between Brad and Lil Damn, Zan. That was, uh, that was my second is. guess, Zane. This is insane. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna to go with... No, oh. no, Zane, you've already chosen. You've oh. already chosen Lil oh, Zane. Oh, I thought we choose which one. I thought we were on the I team. I choose. Oh, okay, okay. okay. My assistant Mariah. off camera is like tripping. <laughs> She's like, oh, She's like calling my PR team, like, no, uh, honey. Uh uh. <laughs> she Mariah. just looked at me and she goes, <laughs> Who is Mariah going to say as the tiebreaker? Lil Zan or Brad Sosa? I'm holding no emotion. I'm holding no emotion. I'm going to say Lil Zan. All right, so we got Lil, we got Lil Zan on the board. All right, Yo, I'm perfect. not here to show emotion. Are you, are you, are you, are you uh, confident with that answer? He... It doesn't matter because yeah, we're no, moving we're on right with it. <laughs> to the next statement. The next King statement. Of moving on. Ready? Wish I could do that. Oh my God, this these, game are, is the, good. these all start the same way. Okay, so the next statement is cheated on me <laughs> oh, with shit, someone buddy. on his oh. Oh, on this board. <gasps> what this is your life? Oh, shit. My God. This person cheated with, uh, cheated on Tana Mojo with somebody that's on this board. Tana, what the? I don't, I, don't, I can't even <laughs> process it. this right now. Okay, Talk wait. Talk your shit, bitch. Bite your lip. <gasps> this person cheated on you with someone on this board. They did do that. I love Damn. that. I love that. I'm gonna drink my drink. It's tough. You I feel like the, I feel like that special. bitch on that meme with the equations running <laughs> no, around. Imagine, her head. I have imagine no me. idea. Imagine me like carry the four, like divide the two, like oh you did Damn. that. Damn. Okay, so okay, Zane, let's hear Heath. He, he, Zane, wait, I wanna, Zane, I want to hear your answer. I want to hear your answer first because can, uh, we, he, can Heath and I have a fucking we gotta conversation deliberate. real quick. <laughs> All right, yeah, deliberate. This one, this one needs a conversation. Deliberate. Okay, let's go in order. Okay. Yeah, they picked the Corinna. I don't think she's hooked up with anybody on there. Okay. We're going to skip her. Uh, <clears throat> Hunter. Hunter is uh, that that guy that she's like friends with right now. But she dated <laughs> oh him. God. I don't think he cheated on her with anybody on that board. It doesn't oh make sense. God. Unless he hooked up with Corinna or Bella. I don't it know. Could that don't Brad, make sense. But I don't know. Who you, oh, you think would've... Hunter hooked up with Brad? No. no, no <laughs> I, I would love to see it. Okay. Um, <laughs> the sentence killed me. Oh, you know what? You know what? Hmm. I could see Banks <laughs> hooking, hooking up, up with, with Corinna. Oh, oh no, Bella! I forgot about Bella. No, Corinna. I could. Mm. Why do I? F I feel like Banks did hook up with Corinna. No, I like. Why do I? Why do I think? Let's no? go, Banks. All right, you guys. Wait, 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 wait. We, we need an answer. Wait. Um, hey, come on, ring it in, boys. I don't have shit. And to Noah, do Noah, Noah, Noah's Tana's favorite. She wouldn't do that. <laughs> so. No, I'm going Banks. <laughs> this podcast banks? is fucking terrible yep. for me. Banks, like, okay. Eight gonna, scandals, eight uh, scandals. All right, we're gonna go with Noah Banks. Is we're gonna go you guys, you guys are unanimously saying yeah, banks. banks. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Mariah doesn't need to be the tiebreaker. We're <laughs> saying Phase Banks is that statement. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Can I say what I said? What what I would have said? Yeah. Go for uh, it. I think I would have said Bella. 
Okay. Ooh, All right. Nice. Oh, fuck. All right, we're, we're going to get that on we record. We were thinking but... about dudes and yeah. not girls. Yo, All right. Girls can cheat, me, too. Anyone can be a oh, cheater. Girl. Guys, we have a third statement. <laughs> this statement that Tana Mojo made in her handwriting <laughs> is, uh, this person is nominated for a Grammy due to a record about her. Come on. <laughs> you, didn't have to, you didn't have to make it that easy. <laughs> Jesus. Fun. Fuck, I mean, it no, it could have been Lil Xan. Can, can, you, can you hold on? Can you can you can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Yes. Uh Tana's statement, and I quote, is <laughs> is nominated for a Grammy due to a record about me. That's I easy. thought I'd make it fun. That's you easy. guys can also not change any of your answers. No, it's easy. So. You got it. We it's can't, be we can't, we can't put one under it. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Heath is saying Noah. Zane, what do you say? I, Noah hasn't come out with anything this year. If you want to disagree with him, that's fine. Mariah will be the tiebreaker. What would you Noah. like to say as your answer? No. You're Noah. gonna say Noah? Yeah, I don't agree with it. All right. So Zayn and Heath are saying. I'm going Noah. with my boo-boo's answer. Tiger's not getting a Grammy. Come on. Roast him. Mariah, she gets beat up tomorrow. <laughs> No, I, I love I, I actually love Tyga's you. music, but this is absolutely I haven't heard anything from him. Tyga's gonna DM done. you. What the really? fuck, Mariah? <laughs> Tyga has way bigger fish to fry. <laughs> He's got way bigger awards to get. <laughs> no, I don't even mean that. Scandals to worry about. Okay. Tana, these are good. I did these my best. These statements baby. are really She's good. I girl. love this. All right. So the next statement that Tana wrote down is. Broke my tooth on a dollar bill in a strip club in Miami. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Say that again. Very much the truth. Broke this my tooth, tooth on that's a strip. That's why this tooth is wider than all the other teeth because I had to get it replaced in Florida. And they oh, she got receipts. Oh. oh, this is look, in Florida. Look, like, do you see how this tooth oh, is? Corinna goes to Florida all the time. And Wait, strip clubs. It could be Hunter because Hunter's her friend. I don't know much about Hunter. <laughs> I know, but Hunter's with her all the time. So if she's in Florida, he's in Florida too. Mm. I'm, I'm going to go with Hunter. Hunter. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. You're going to go two yeah. for two, Hunter. Yeah. Okay, so no need for a tiebreaker. We're going with Hunter Moreno for that statement. I feel confident about these answers. Next well, statement. We're, about to see, we're going to see how much you guys got right. Okay, so the next statement is offered to buy me a new ass after he hit it. Tiger, <laughs> yo, my man, Tiger. Tiger Say, Tiger. yo, yo, it was good. It was good, but I'm gonna buy you a new ass and then I'm gonna hit it again. That's so insulting. He's, He's gonna right. hit the ass and then yo, buy you a new one. Do you know? Well, but then when he got, you, baby, when he got it. money, I'll tell mm. you how crazy it goes after because it goes way more done than that. Honestly, oh, that you can't this. write this shit. Yo, that is, you can't write this shit. Movie. That is clickbait to what really happened. I'll tell you that much. One of your podcast guests is actually involved. with uh, yes. I have to stop. Hidaya! Hidaya! Son of a bitch! <laughs> what? Hidaya, what the fuck are you doing there? Because she lives in Florida. You, What are you doing? <laughs> you guys, we you got better have your scarf on when you're going. Uh, we got three to the more. Strip club. Okay, there's three more. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Oh, I, oh this Hold is on. a new one. This is an interesting one. The next <laughs> statement, all Tana wrote is. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Shit's a burn book. Fucking okay. bitch. Okay. So uh, on the board, all we have left is Bella, Corinna, and Brad. I'm going to go Bella. Oh, fucking bitches. Uh, I'm going to go with Bella, too. Bella. I'm going to go with Bella. You guys are going to go Bella? Not yeah. that I know her or think she's yeah, a bitch. I don't, I, I, don't just... know, I don't know Bella either. Wait, are you guys being swayed by the fact that she's a woman, so a bitch has to be a girl? Oh, yeah. yeah. it, 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 it could be a dude, yeah. too. No, is also no, a she, she but would Tana, use a, Tana's Tana vocabulary. would call a woman Tana, a bitch. Yeah. Tana would also call a man a bitch, I feel no, like, too. I don't know. I don't know. No, if it no, was Brad, she would have been like fucking pussy. I feel like she's fucking with it. She's playing us right now. Zane, you could disagree. If You could disagree, Mariah, but it's tiebreaker. talk your shit. Do you think any of the other three are more of a fucking bitch. I don't think Tana would be that disrespectful to a girl. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Brad. Okay, so we have we have Brad and we have I'm going uh, Bella. Bella. So Brad or Bella between those two, Mariah. <laughs> I would say Bella. Bella is a fucking. So you think bitch. she's a bitch? Mariah Bella, thinks Bella that? is a fucking bitch. I'm trying to shake it up. <laughs> <laughs> out. All right, you guys, we got the no, word. I'm out. Out. I ain't ready, but I'm going to sue us. What's the tea on her and Zendaya? <laughs> Good catch! Oh my god! And they say I can't box. <laughs> has nothing to do with it. Catch these hands. Catch these like, trolls. Like at all. It has not one Catching. thing to do. Oh my god, Kenny, this last one's bad, huh? Oh. No, this is. 
is the second to last one, but I feel like your answer has already been created for you. So let okay. So the two people we have left are Corinna and Brad. Now the statement is perfect tits. <laughs> oh, Corinna, boom. What Brad. do you think, Keith? Brad. <laughs> Are you gonna say Brad? No, we're, we're going with Corinna. Oh. Brad's like, why are you saying Corinna has perfect tits? So, so you, you like think she tits. has perfect tits? So you like it could tits. be anyone else. So you guys could have made wrong decisions. I'm spilling on myself. Please. No, we're gonna go with Corinna. I, I've yeah. seen them. Yeah. I've, seen her, I've seen her tits. I've seen her tits. <laughs> Congratulations. I know the vacuum man. All right. He's seen my tits. So, all right. So your last answer has wow. already been created for you. So we only have Brad left on the board. That means that the last statement is going to go to Brad. Mm -hmm. So what is it? <laughs> this last statement that Tana hmm. wrote is, "Won't stop dating people that aren't me." <laughs> dot 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 question mark. Sounds about uh, right. That does sound about right. She goes, you got eight out of eight correct. Eight. Wait, Heath, I'm going to add on to that. I, I feel like I did see something after he dated you where he dated a girl that looked just like you. And I think it was Brad. Okay. And I think it was Brad. I think we did good, Heath. You the fact that we landed on the face. last two and they landed on the people... I think we may be, I think we may be, I think we may be fucking winning. If here. we get eight out of eight, I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> um, you Yo, that's a whole fucking, <laughs> I'm going to give I, that's the, a delete. Theory. I think I'm we're going to have to delete this video. Uh, to Tana, we're going to give the floor okay, to Tana and way. Tana is just going to tell us how many you got right. She's not going to tell you which ones are right, which ones are wrong. She's going to tell you how many if are right. If you get them all right, that's exposing everything. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She's getting nervous. She's like one, two, three, Carry four. Carry the one. A lamb, uh, ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven. Four of eight are correct. We got four? Half four. Four of eight are correct. Oh, wow. Four out of eight. Well, damn. Well, that eliminates like Corinna. <laughs> four of eight are correct. Four are correct. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That gives right. us nothing. That's it. We don't need to go any further than that. That That's the game. Damn. Four are correct. We will be talking after this episode. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> And you can find that video on our Yo, OnlyFans. And that's uh, on OnlyFans.com slash Zane and Heath. I put that on 50-50. Love that. <laughs> this has been one of my favorite games I've played this I season. I came up with it in 20 minutes, so that's you great. Really that was that fun. Shame. That was really fun. Okay. Corinna has perfect tits. That's for sure. All right, so Corinna you know what, definitely honest is... to God, I'll say it. Corinna has perfect tits. That's the only one I'm giving. Okay. Okay. I was going to ask you, like, who the... Like, you don't have to name names or anything like that, but, like... Well, actually, you do have to name one name, <laughs> but like with this question, but like, who did you, whether it's good or bad or indifferent, who did you learn the most about yourself through the relationship with? You already know it's Jake Paul. It's so unfortunate. Wow. It's so unfortunate. No, no, I didn't right? know that. Yeah. Who? No, I definitely learned the most from myself, like through Jake. I think that before ever going into dating him, I was just like this dumb, naive, like kid. And he actually like taught me so much about the business and like what he kind of was like, you're in this position, like step into it or don't. You know what I mean? Like you mm -hmm. like you can be this mogul and you can have this multi-million dollar business or you can be this girl who makes a hundred million dollars one time. And like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I wanted the mogul of it all. I wanted the Paris Hilton of it all. I wanted to like you wanted to be Tana Mogul. I got yeah, Zane's never gonna learn my last name, so what's like, what, you know. But I don't I know. Jake just that. Jake just always taught me to like strive for the the biggest thing, and like to, to like no matter what, like no matter what you're feeling, like you're gonna work your ass off for twelve hours of every single day, and you're gonna figure it the fuck out. So. That's important. Honestly, like you say, like, oh, it's him, it's whatever. But like, that's very Well, important. and the scandal of it all, I would call him like, people are canceling me for fucking breathing. What do I do? And he's like, it, you're going to have a career tomorrow. Like, figure it out. Grow as a person. Like, do your thing. So it, it was kind of <clears throat> coaching me through the whole, like, Tana Mojo of it all. So Heath and I, I, I get two bad comments. Like we call Jake. I, <laughs> <laughs> I get two bad comments. I call my mom. <laughs> no, I swear to God. I swear to God. People like like, die, die, kill yourself. I'm like, Jake, what do I do? <laughs> no it's good it's good that you can talk to somebody like that and like feel like i was gonna say it's almost better and more beneficial because like okay well, like it's more than that it's like uh, there's there have been points where it's like people are trying to kill me people are trying to expose me for anything in the world i've ever done my own parents are coming for me you know what i mean like this brand that i never worked with is suing me for five hundred thousand dollars like what do i do like it's uh, it's always been very big things and then he always is like here's my million dollar lawyers here's what i did with my family here's what I would say to the press like it, it always is big things so I'm very grateful for him for that because it's like who the fuck do you call when you say someone's suing me for a million dollars yeah. like most people are like <laughs> figure it out like I mean that's that's 
really important that that's he good. can be a dumbass brat and i'll yell at him for that shit but at the same time when someone's doing you for a million dollars like there's not very many people you can go to you know what i mean yeah. like i think that there's a level of scandal and fame of it all that it's like you have to ask someone like what the fuck do i do you guys know you ask mm-hmm. david or you yeah. ask whoever like it's like what like we're at this level where shit is new every day. Literally, people are accusing me of being thirty this week. Like all week, my whole scandal. Is Wait, like, what do you mean? Why do people think you're thirty years old? Because this girl. And why does it matter? To this people? girl, ironically, was investigating Jake. I'm slurring. I can't talk. She was investigating. We, we Jake. We understand you. And she was looking up if his businesses have ever taken out PPP loans, which are like COVID type loans. Okay. Like, like as in during the coronavirus of it all, like, like uh-huh. they were looking up if his business took out a loan of extra money than what they were supposed to have for the year to pay their employees. Cause that's fucked up. Like to, you know right. what I mean? To like, to take money out of like tax loans and like the, you know what I mean? Just the money of it all that is not okay and to pay your employees. So they were looking to see if I've done the same thing. And I guess someone like, like misfiled like some loan saying they were me trying to get a loan of like $20,000 saying they were 30. And so this, this journalist for business insider posts, like I was researching Tana Mojo and I found out she was 30 goes full viral snapchat viral discover viral i have to literally take my fucking like id out of my phone i'm doing it right now just to prove a point <laughs> <I'm a bitch laughs> and show everyone that Tana. i'm not I can i see it that Tana, looks like you know a what i would do if Let's i were you it. you know what i would do it i would set up my camera or my camera do a whole apology how i'm 30 years old wait really just to troll yeah should because i would you if people if people well, thought Zane, that i was keep in mind no, this happens like when it, i breathe no, like, i know I'm over if people it. thought i was 50 years old and people believed it i would 100 percent troll everybody and be like guys i'm sorry i should have told you i was 50 years old but you realize i'm having like one scandal half like this that, every yeah, week that's true but so you want to like get over it like you're just like yeah oh, like, it'll pass like, yeah. this is the fakest idea i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> you're killing me is it's it for is it for nevada do you yes do you know that the day of that's the not scandal, you feel it feel it it's, it's me right after i got the nose job Super. tana that's not you it and is, this is fake why are they doing this, this? is literally, literally fake. so Let annoying let's pass it over you guys are furthering the scandal i hope you're happy are you 30 years old well i guess you'll never know zane <laughs> I'm, just yeah. I'm not. I'm very 22. I promise. Um, oh wait, one thing. Sunrise Hospital, Henderson, Nevada, 1998. One Look thing that I will say that you that you have in common with some of the people on set is that you, uh, because you started working at 15. Yeah, my first job was at 15 at Pax. I'm looking at my boss, <gasps> JJ. Same. There it is. Really? There it really? is. Were you guys small board folding and large bo- oh, board no. folding? Yeah, c- we, the we full did the whole fucking thing. like that whole like cashier. Little blue plastic thing. I did that for a year and a half. Do you miss years. Vegas? No, I go there a lot. I just went there. Um, All my Vegas best friends are still my best friends. One of my first Vegas roommates ever ever lived in my house like i was in the master he was in the second biggest room he's about to move in with me like we are like still oh like, wow amari ashley like, like that keeps my you best friend for, like, six years. i'm i'm very vegas innately i'm not gonna lie i love how you're so close to to like everybody back in vegas like it's an hour flight it's a 45 minute flight they, they back to fucking me, vegas the ashley and amari live literally i'm on floor three like looking down like like at floor two like what's up good morning guys like what do we do Damn, Damn. that's, that's crazy the same floor. it's it's dope because like I remember being fourteen and my parents were saying like get the fuck out like we hate you you stupid bitch move out we as they should and yeah but- honestly <laughs> <God. laughs> like they were literally being like kill yourself we fucking hate you and I was oh, okay. staying at Amari's house like every single day and so for like a year and a half Amari was my only source of a roof over my head before I had money, before I had AdSense, before I had food, before I had anything. I was staying in his house and my parents were calling me on the fucking whatever trap phone they bought for me, being like, we fucking hate you. And his mom and dad were being like, we love you. Like, we will take you in, you know, so. I was going to say you moved out and you moved into his parents. Like, they kind of took you in as their own. I mean, I was like 14 when I first moved into their house and then I got on a lease of a house with someone else at like 16. Do you see yourself like ever settling down, getting married and having kids? Like, do you want kids? I I literally thought I was going to do that with Jake fully. Don't even get me started. Really? <laughs> Actually? Really? <laughs> so I still sometimes question it. We'd make great babies, great guy. Uh, <laughs> because the, because I, I'm listening That's to the cute. way you were raised. You really like him. Yeah. Like, what, do you want kids? 
I never ever wanted kids. I actually hated kids my whole life until I met him, and then I saw him. We had like fake kids. Tragic. Oh, those two little blonde babies, Titus and Riot. And so for like <laughs> eight months, we would watch them every single day. And their parents were like our best friends, still are. Literally, when Jake just beat the fuck out of fucking Nate, I was calling their parents, and we were on Facetime the full fight, like watching like Nate like fall to the ground, like uh, the mom was crying, like this is how we're gonna oh. like, like pay our fucking like food for life, like it's it's very real so I would like the the baby girl she was like my daughter every day and Jake was the first person to be like you want kids like it's you know. pretty cool to think about you don't have though. siblings yeah. no I'm an only child as fuck which is crazy wow. I have like a stepbrother like like down the line like super down the line but like, but, like no contact I feel like your life yeah. would be completely different if you had siblings Dude, I think I would have nothing but siblings, honestly, because I, I feel like I had nothing to lose. So I was like sitting down in, on this iPhone like, fuck my mom, fuck my dad, fuck <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Just so crazy. And I think if I had any sibling to be like, stop. <laughs> never you wouldn't have anything. gotten as far. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I had any brother or sister being like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I would not like even remotely be this far. I'm done with this fucking podcast. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in again to Zany Heath Unfiltered. Mm-hmm. Season 2, episode 58. Hits All the right. mic, brings the whole fucking <laughs> set down. <laughs> Wait, we're on 60. 60, babe. 60. Yes, I knew that. I was just testing episode. you guys. So close. We're I gave so you my childhood you? trauma and my oh, dick sucking abilities. 60. All right, 60th episode. All how right. much I hate my exes. I gave you everything. Look how fucked up Tana I'm is. I'm drunk as fuck. This is where We're, the conversation is going to get juicy with Tana <laughs> after the podcast. Okay, so starting from this is now. All Zane wanted was to black me out. <laughs> make sure to check out this episode on uh, Spotify, Apple Tunes, whatever. Apple Tunes. Apple Tunes. <laughs> get audio, it on Apple we, Sauce. We, and you can listen. <laughs> we post audio form on Mondays, and then we post the video form on Tuesdays on YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. Mm-hmm. I'm pregnant. We. <laughs> We have our coffee. We Tana, have our you're coffee. Not pregnant, uh, clickbait. God damn it. We have our coffee out right now. Uh, it's at Cremota.com. Uh, pre orders are out now. We sold out. We're sorry. Uh, Pre orders out right now if you want to get. Oh, yeah. <laughs>